Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. People in the United States, Spider-Man LS Actually Myself. Chapter 61. After bidding farewell to Zhang Tianming, Zatanna returned to her room and was about to go to bed after washing up. Sitting on the bed, she turned on her mobile phone and flipped through the phone boredly, and suddenly found a photo of herself and Zhang Tianming just now. In the photo, both she and Zhang Tianming are smiling for the camera. I have to go back tomorrow. A few days ago, she and her father agreed to go out for activities for a few days and then go back to practice magic. Tomorrow is the last day. I really want to see him again. Ding lingaling, suddenly the phone rang, which startled Zatanna in a trance. After seeing that the note was Zhang Tianming, she couldn't help being a little surprised and delighted. I didn't expect that I could get what I wanted without magic. Hello, Tianming, what can I do for you? Xiao Zha, I have something to ask for your help. I'll be right there, wait for me. Zatanna agreed without any hesitation, at least to see him. After saying that, Zatanna hung up the phone and began to carefully choose her clothes in the closet, like a girl who is ready for a date. In the outskirts of Gotham on the other side, Zhang Tianming stared blankly at the mobile phone in his hand, and he readily agreed before he asked her for help, which was too fast. Although Zatanna was not told the location, Zhang Tianming's location can be easily found with her magic. Your friend is really loyal. It took less than 10 seconds before and after you called. DK laughed and complained. Shut up, at least I'm the one offering favors, not you. Zhang Tianming glared at DK and said. He he he, okay, thank you so much, Mr. Red. At least DK couldn't help but smile when he saw that Zhang Tianming was a bit embarrassed. But after Zatanna came, he stopped smiling, and hooked Zhang Tianming's shoulder. The helper you're looking for is a girl, buddy, don't you think it's a joke? It's no wonder DK thinks this way. If it's really solemn and grundy, the average girl is already very good without being frightened, and you want her to help. But DK was wrong. Zatanna is not an ordinary girl. If she doesn't use tricks, Zatanna can beat 10 dicks. Don't worry, trust my eyes. Let's not talk about whether I can help you. The way she looks at you is not normal. Dude, what should you do to Batgirl? Batgirl is his partner and friend, and so is Zhang Tianming. He doesn't want his friend's love life to be cracked. When will you care about this? Zhang Tianming gave DK a strange look, then ignored him and walked straight towards Zatanna. In order for Zatanna to recognize him at the first sight, Zhang Tianming and DK came to a hidden place, and he released the transformation. I saw Zatanna standing there pretty in a black dress, Zhang Tianming shook his head helplessly, it's late at night, sister, there's no such thing as a late night date, and he didn't even say he wanted a date. Xiao Zha, I don't remember I said I'm going on a date, why are you dressed so beautifully? Hearing this, Zatanna showed a sweet smile on her face. I know it's not a date, but I will treat it as a date, and I dress like this for you. Zatanna's initiative caught Zhang Tianming a little off guard. Last time, Gwen and Felicia were the ones who took the initiative. It seemed that everyone was very active. Let's talk about business. Zhang Tianming and Zatanna talked about the current ins and outs of the incident, and re-transformed into Faiz, and entered the manor aunt's house with Zatanna. At the moment, Zatanna was sitting cross-legged on the ground, with white lights shining in her eyes, she was using magic to find the whereabouts of Solomon Grundy. Zatanna's search took a relatively long time due to ignoring people with the same name and surname. At this time, DK approached Zhang Tianming and said in a voice that only the two of them could hear, Dude, it's not right to be in two boats. What responded to him was Zhang Tianming's indifferent gaze, which probably meant, do you, a future humanoid self-propelled gun, have the right to talk about him? Although DK didn't know what that meant. Speaking of which, are you in a relationship now? Zhang Tianming asked, he was a little curious if DK in at the moment is a master of love like in the original work. I don't even have a first love. I have been fighting crime with Batman and I don't have time to fall in love. Maybe I can go to college in the future. It seems that the current humanoid self-propelled gun is still a baby, which is so interesting, it is not like DK at all and it is younger than Barbara, and still hasn't gone to college. Does she know about your relationship with Batgirl? I don't know, I will tell her later. Cool, you are really enviable. Zhang Tianming glanced at DK, you are envious of a hammer, 
just now you said that it is wrong to have two boats, wait. It won't be because of his own influence that DK will become like that in the future, right? It seems that I have to find a girl to bind him so that he can't do evil. I'm such a genius, I'm simply a friend of women. The spell, found. Just as Zhang Tianming was still admitting himself, Zatanna found Solomon Grandi's position. At the same time, Zhang Tianming's spider telepathy was responding violently, Zatanna and Zhang Tianming shouted at almost the same time, get down. Boom. Huge amounts of cars smashed into the house, it was the car of the manor ant, DK protected the manor ant under his body, and Zhang Tianming threw Zatanna down, protecting her in his arms. The house was directly cut in half by the car, which is the disadvantage of the house made of wood, there is no safety at all. How are you? Zhang Tianming asked Zatanna below him. I'm fine, thank you Tianming, are you hurt? Zatanna asked concerned. No, you're fine. He he he, Tianming, you are really my guardian angel. The atmosphere between the two seemed a little peachy. DK on the side stood up, feeling upset on the spot, and didn't look at what was going on. Enough of you guys. Look at what time it is, pick a time to flirt, okay? Someone is in a hurry, I won't say who it is. Zhang Tianming looked at DK with a provocative smile, telling you to laugh at me earlier. If it wasn't because he couldn't beat him, DK really wanted to punch Zhang Tianming in the face, but he was disappointed, he really couldn't beat him. After being angry with DK, Zhang Tianming stood up and looked at the culprit who caused everything again, huge body, pale appearance, muscle swelled on his body as if he didn't want money, and the flesh on his body exuded an unpleasant smell rancid. That is the living 303 zombies, Solomon Grundy, whose highest record is to kill the clone of Superman, Bizarro. He can be said to be the strongest enemy that Zhang Tianming has encountered besides Ares and Venom, with an indestructible body, Superman-like strength and endurance, and extremely strong self-healing ability. It's just a matter of time to try out your new power. Under Zhang Tianming's mask, there was a smile full of fighting spirit. As soon as the voice fell, Zhang Tianming thought, and the command memory of Faiz's mobile phone on his belt was quickly replaced with the accelerated memory, and the time before and after was only one second. Complete, complete. The breastplate moves up to the shoulders, the photon blood tube emits red light until it turns white, the eyes turn red, and the accelerated form of Faiz appears. Zhang Tianming was not in a hurry to use the acceleration mode, but used the acceleration mode to warm up with the monster in front of him. After he transformed into Faiz, he habitually shook his hands. Come and exercise your muscles. Zhang Tianming squatted down slowly, making a signature robe squat, his red compound eyes exuded a dangerous aura, which made Solomon Grandi instinctively aware of the danger. Ho ho. Solomon Grundy roared angrily. Although he has self-awareness, he is irrational. He doesn't know what it means to be afraid. Oh. Zhang Tianming ran towards Solomon Grandi suddenly, his right fist flashed like lightning, and hit Solomon Grandi hard in the abdomen. Bang bang bang. Solomon Grundy's huge body seemed to be hit by a giant truck, flying backwards like a meteor, flying straight for a hundred meters away, severely smashing several trees. Zhang Tianming himself has a limit of more than 40 tons of strength, coupled with the increase in Faiz's accelerated form, it seems that this punch with a limit of 80 tons of punch power is not a vegetarian. The eyes of Zatanna and DK behind him have already brightened, Zatanna is because of Zhang Tianming's charm, and DK is pure because of Zhang Tianming's Faiz armor. Cool, Zatanna and DK both sighed at the same time. Ho ho. Solomon Grandi roared. His feet burst out with astonishing power, the ground trembled, and he rushed towards Zhang Tianming at an astonishing speed. Ah! Solomon Grundy raised his fists and smashed at Zhang Tianming, the space was slightly distorted by the speed of his fists. Zhang Tianming was unflappable, even though he was not dangerous, he crossed his arms to block Solomon Grundy's fist. Boom! The ground under Zhang Tianming's feet burst instantly, but his body was still straight. Zhang Tianming raised his arms, and Solomon Grandi's fist stagnated in midair for a moment. At this moment, Zhang Tianming's fist was as fast as lightning. His left fist hit Solomon Grandi's face, and then he grabbed the fist with his right hand. Hold his head and press it hard on the ground. Boom. The ground couldn't bear the pressure of the two and burst open. DK took the manor ant aside and sat down, 
and then looked at the battle AIFB in the distance. He couldn't help but exclaimed, Oh my god, there are really two monsters. Lie down on the ground and don't move. Ho ho ho. Solomon Grundy burst out with astonishing power. He pushed his palms to the ground, grabbed Zhang Tianming's leg with his backhand, and threw him dozens of meters away. Zhang Tianming rolled in the air, and then landed firmly on the ground. Zatanna was no longer watching the battle, she raised her hands and shouted at Solomon Grundy, it's freezing cold. After the words fell, ice-cold ice began to spread from Solomon Grundy's feet, causing him to move within a short time. Nice job. Za. Hey, I'm also very good, Zatanna winked at Zhang Tianming cutely, showing a sweet smile. Ho ho. Solomon Grandy yelled at this moment to refresh his sense of presence, and it seemed that the interaction between Zhang Tianming and Zatanna was a little irritating to him. Now it's my turn, said Zhang Tianming put his hand on the accelerometer watch on his left wrist, and lightly pressed the button. Start. Up. Start timing. With the sound of the machine, Zhang Tianming entered the supersonic acceleration mode, and everyone present couldn't see Zhang Tianming's speed clearly, as if he disappeared from the world. Boom boom boom. I saw intense red light emanating from the sky above Solomon Grundy. Everyone looked up and saw a total of 32 crimson electric drills. Crimson. Smash. Crimson diamond strike. Boom. 32 crimson electric drills slammed into Solomon Grundy's body, triggering a violent explosion that swallowed Solomon Grundy. Zhang Tianming accelerated and came to Zatanna, resisting the aftermath of the explosion for her until the end. Time. Out. Time out. Although 10 minutes had not arrived, Zhang Daiming took the initiative to release the acceleration mode. He looked at the center of the explosion, where there was a round object in the huge crater, and after a closer look, he realized that it was the head of Solomon Grandi. A strange scene appeared, and the surrounding carrion fragments began to gather towards Solomon Grundy's head. If there was enough time, he would stand up again unscathed. This ability is really good. Although Zhang Tianming envied him, he was disgusted. He turned his head and looked at Zatanna. Xiao Za, freeze him. Okay. Zatanna raised her hand, facing Solomon Grundy's stump, cast ironic magic, freeze. Sure enough, the stump won't regenerate after being frozen, and the next thing is to leave these things to decay, and as for him, go back to sleep and have good dreams. Finished perfectly. Xiao Za, thank you for your help tonight. Hmm, so how are you going to thank me? Zatanna narrowed her eyes, revealing a mischievous look. He he he, you shouldn't ask me this, you should ask yourself what you need me to do. Zatanna smiled with her hands behind her back, rolled her eyeballs, and was a little playful and cute. Well, let's talk about it later when I think about it. Sorry to bother you too. DK interrupted at this time, he would not shut up obediently depending on the situation is this big popsicle just left here. As he said that, DK also pointed to Solomon Grandy who was frozen into a popsicle under the pit. I'm sure Batman will be happy to help, so I'm going back to bed. Then please take care of the famous Robin. After speaking, Zhang Tianming summoned the mechanical Kiva and sat on it, looking back at Zatanna. Xiao Za, do you need me to take you back? Definitely, you can't let the lady walk back. If Zhang Tianming hadn't known that Zatanna had the magic to teleport back directly, he would really have believed it. Seeing the backs of the two men drifting away, DK sighed helplessly, and pressed the earphones next to his ears. Batman, I've got it done. Robin, is Red participating in the battle? Batman's low voice came from the headset. Is it Red? Yes, after all, he is the main force, and he has a very complete fighting video, what's wrong? DK wondered and asked. It's nothing. I'll be right there. Congratulations to the host for completing the task, and reward Space Gem Mastery with 50%. Note, 50% mastery can enable the host to jump between the two worlds, but it cannot accurately locate the address. After sending Zatanna back to her rented house in Gotham, driving the mechanical Kiva back to the Bellamonica Hotel, Zhang Tianming returned to her rented room instead of going to Barbara's. Tomorrow he decided to leave the 600th world for a while and go back to the Marvel world to see how things are going there, so he plans to say goodbye to them. Meow meow meow, Zhang Tianming heard cats meowing as soon as he entered the door, they were all sitting in front of the door waiting for him to come back, 
This surprised him a bit, he subconsciously thought that his charm had reached the level of cross species. Come on, little ones, only for tonight. Zhang Tianming smiled slightly, and sat on the ground with his arms outstretched. The cats meowed and climbed onto Zhang Tianming's body. Before, the kittens wanted to climb on him to act like a spoiled child, but he only hugged the little black cat, and he didn't hug the others, so the kittens couldn't help being a little bit wronged. Let them act like a baby tonight. Zhang Tianming rubbed their fur, and now he was surrounded by cats, as if he was lying in the clouds. At this moment, an uninvited guest broke into the floor-to-ceiling windows, that is, Selina in the incarnation of Catwoman, holding an oil painting in her arms at the moment. Where did the little thief go to steal things again? Zhang Tianming, who lost himself among the cats, asked. A well-known oil painting has a sense of age. Selina looked at Zhang Tianming with her charming eyes, and couldn't help laughing and joked, it's surprising that you will wait for me to come back. Actually, I'm not waiting for you to come back, I just happened to meet you back, otherwise I'm already sleeping now. Selina rolled her beautiful eyes, I actually thought you would say something nice. Actually, I'm leaving tomorrow, and I'm here to say goodbye. Zhang Tianming managed to break free from the group of cats, and walked in front of Selina and said. Selina's body froze slightly, and she glanced at Zhang Tianming in surprise, then walked to the cabinet and took out the red wine inside, poured it into two glasses and handed the wine glasses to Quan Tianming. Why, is it because you are not used to living in Gotham? Selina asked after taking a sip of red wine. Leave to do some errands. Zhang Tianming shrugged, he couldn't say that he traveled to another world, that would seem like a lie. You are a person who smuggled into Gotham City and went out to do something. Who will believe it? At least Selina didn't believe it. Anyway, it's none of your business. After saying goodbye and getting some sleep, I'll leave tomorrow. Zhang Tianming drank the red wine and prepared to go back to his room to wash and sleep. But Selina stood in front of him, her face was rosy, and her body smelled good. I really want to see if you are a man. I definitely am. Then prove it to me. Perhaps because of the influence of alcohol, Selina took the initiative a little unexpectedly. She grabbed Zhang Tianming's collar, and offered her kiss somewhat roughly. After parting her lips for a long time, a slender transparent liquid slid down between the two lips, and Selina's eyes overflowed with a hint of spring, and she leaned close to Zhang Tianming's ear and whispered, I will leave it to you for the first time. Gone. Zhang Tianming's eyes widened, a little surprised by what Selina said. In just one night, Zhang Tianming dealt with the two women, and it was truly a blessing. As the sky gradually brightened, Zhang Tianming slowly opened his eyes, holding his beautiful fair body in his arms, and sighed faintly. He got up slowly, to prevent Selina from being woken up because of his getting up, he walked out of the room slowly, and looked up at Kivit 3 who was sleeping on the ceiling. Kivit. Upon hearing Kivit 3, he immediately woke up and quickly flew to Zhang Tianming. What's the matter? Master, is there a fight? During the time I'm away, you will protect Selina. The Kiva of the system can transform directly regardless of the blood, so even Selina without the blood of the Fang Vampire royal family can transform. Ah, that woman turned out to be Madam, I understand, I promise to complete the task. Kivit 3 stood on the table and saluted with his wings in a funny way. In the end, after Zhang Tianming said goodbye to the awakened Barbara, he activated the space gem and temporarily left the 600th world. There is a fetter that he wants to come back here, and he will come back again. Marvel World. Middle East. Somewhere in Afghanistan. There is a hidden cave here, which was attacked by terrorists called Ten Rings and kidnapped Tony Stark to come here, asking the other party to make high destructive weapons for them. The special geographical environment here made it impossible for Tony's people to find him in a short time. It has been nearly seven days since Tony was kidnapped, and he decided he couldn't just sit still and make an armored battle suit to help him get out of this place. Ethan, a doctor of physics, was kidnapped together. Today will be their day of escape. Boom. Two Ten Rings soldiers violently knocked open the door, but unfortunately triggered the bomb that Tony had installed on the door, and it was directly engulfed in flames. Ethan was typing on the computer to start the power system, but it would take time. Ethan had a thought in his mind that he had to buy time for Tony. I'm running out of time, I'll go. 
Just when Ethan decided to delay the time, a broken voice sounded. Bang. The wooden table not far from them was suddenly smashed, and after the smoke cleared, a handsome black-haired man appeared. He is Zhang Tianming who returned to the Marvel world smoothly and unsuccessfully. What the hell happened? Both Tony and Ethan stared at Zhang Tianming, their nerves tensed now. Grass, so unstable. Zhang Tianming fell down in midair, and the wooden table bore the weight he shouldn't bear and died heroically. When Zhang Tianming saw the two people he was familiar with, he raised his eyebrows, I really didn't expect such a coincidence. Well, it seems that you need help, Tony Stark, you owe me your life. What Zhang Tianming was talking about was not Tony's life, but Ethan's. If there is no Zhang Tianming, then Ethan will die here like in the original timeline, and Tony can hear the meaning of Zhang Tianming in his mind. Zhang Tianming walked out of the laboratory slowly, Tony and Ethan still hadn't recovered from it, it all happened so suddenly. You, do you know him? Ethan asked Tony. Unfortunately, I don't know a magical boy whose teleportation charm is almost as good as mine. Tony didn't think Zhang Tianming could hold on for long, now that there were screams and gunshots outside, he had to hurry. Just when he was wearing a steel battle suit and Mark I came out, the scene was surprisingly calm, with corpses lying underground one after another. Tony looked around in a daze, why did they fall down before I got up? He walked out of the cave step by step, only to see Zhang Tianming sitting on a rock with nothing to do. Noticing Tony's appearance, Zhang Tianming showed an impatient look on his face. Why are you starting so slowly, I've already taken care of it. You, they. Tony foolishly pointed to Zhang Tianming and then to the corpse on the ground. Subdued by terrorists. Doesn't that mean that he made all the armor for nothing in the past few days, and I have suffered so much for nothing? Don't worry, there will be targets for you. Zhang Tianming showed a meaningful smile on his face. Not long ago, he let go of the little boss in the original work, and he found the broken steel battle suit, which led to the subsequent development in Iron Man. But now, Tony didn't intend to take back the battle suit on his body, but took it off and put it where it was. Although it has been dismantled into several parts, it is still not cautious enough, but it is good, at least it will allow Tony to sell Zhang Tianming for a few more favors in the future. Tony couldn't understand what Zhang Tianming meant, and now he couldn't control that much anymore, he had had enough of suffering these days. We have to get out of this place, that lump of iron won't last long, we have to get on the road right away. Tony said as he took off his battle suit. But before that, boom boom. As the bomb exploded, all the weapons and missiles stolen by the terrorists were destroyed, including the steel battle suit. It was indeed a good firework performance. On the plane. So, how did you deal with those terrorists? Tony asked curiously to Zhang Tianming who was lying there, his heart was full of curiosity. Would you believe me if I said they were so handsome? Zhang Tianming raised an eyebrow at Tony with a smile. I'll think you're farting. Tony said with black lines all over his face, this guy just doesn't say it if he doesn't want to. All three were unscathed, except for Tony, who was a little weak and got off the plane wearing sunglasses and singing. Pepper has been waiting here for a long time, her eyes were moist at the moment, because she saw that Tony was safe and sound. What's the matter, your eyes are red, because your dear boss is sad. Tony at the moment ran the train with his mouth full. Pepper burst into a smile and couldn't help but smile on his face, I'm a new job in the province, I'm happy. Then she noticed Zhang Tianming and Ethan beside Tony, and asked curiously, who are they? Hearing this, Tony put his hands on the shoulders of the two very familiarly, these are my two friends, Zhang Tianming and Ethan. It's all because of them that I can get out of that ghost place. Afterwards, Zhang Tianming bid farewell to Tony and others. Tony was generous and directly gave him a blue Bugatti Veyron Grand as a means of transportation. Is this how it feels to have a rich man as a friend? Tony will hold a press conference later, announcing the closure of Stark Industries weapons sales, but these are not related to Zhang Tianming's business, and now he wants to go home to see how Gwen and Felicia are doing. One child won. Gwen and Felicia were sitting on the sofa at Zhang Tianming's home, silent. Obviously they were still worried about Zhang Tianming's safety, and the phone couldn't get through. It has been nearly five days since Zhang Tianming left. Although a police officer learned that Zhang Tianming had something to leave, he was still a little worried. 
B. The doorbell rang outside the door. Gwen and Felicia's heart beat suddenly. Could it be that he came back? Express delivery. The deep voice clearly dispelled the fantasy in their hearts. I'll go. Gwen got up and went to open the door. But she remembered that neither she nor Felicia had a courier. Gwen walked to the door with strange thoughts and opened the door. Sorry, you should have sent the wrong one, we. Gwen wanted to send the visitor away with, 477, but when she saw the visitor's face clearly, she froze in place. I'm your courier. Zhang Tianming spread his arms and smiled gently at Gwen. Miss me. Tianming. Gwen jumped up and hugged Zhang Tianming directly, wrapping her legs around his waist like a koala. Spider telepathy can't go wrong, it's just that he's back. Well, well. Gwen happily kissed Zhang Tianming on the face. Zhang Tianming smiled, and patted Gwen on the back. Okay, okay, I obviously underestimated your reaction. For example, hugging him and crying, or hugging him silently, unexpectedly hugging him and kissing him excitedly. HMPH, I didn't expect you to remember coming back. Felicia leaned against the wall and looked at Zhang Tianming with a smile on her face. I'm sorry for my leaving without saying goodbye, and I will make it up to you. Zhang Tianming stepped forward, stroking Felicia's pretty face. Hmm, what kind of compensation? Felicia's smile gradually became more meaningful, and it was obvious that it was elsewhere. Zhang Tianming couldn't help but rolled his eyes, he pulled the two of them to sit on the sofa, and asked them what happened next. Unexpectedly, he spent nearly a week in the 600th world. If the time jump is counted, then he jumped from World War I to modern times, hundreds of years. And only five days in the Marvel Universe. Five days ago, after he brought Harry back from the parallel world, due to the forceful separation of the venom and the most important influence of space-time turbulence, Harry lost the memory of the time when he was the host of the venom. Harry paid for it and took Peter and Parker to go on a trip. They also invited Gwen and Felicia, and they didn't know Zhang Tianming who was no longer in the Marvel world. But they refused. Now that Harry has inherited the Osborne industry, Norman's death has been ruled as a disappearance. Except for some organizations, no one knows that Norman is the Green Goblin and is dead. After the villain made a big fuss in New York, New York fell into a strange calm. In the battle with Zhang Tianming, among the poor villains, only Mr. Negative and the Lizardman survived intact, and the rest survived. Rhino and Green Goblin were pronounced dead, and Scorpion suffered a concussion. I woke up, and I realized that I could contribute more to the world besides making weapons, so I decided to close the Stark Industrial Weapons Division, and that would take effect until I found a new target. During the live broadcast on TV, Obadiah stepped forward and hurriedly wanted to interrupt what Tony was going to say next. Tony's words caused a big uproar and big news, and the stock of Stark Industries fell rapidly in an instant. Gwen and Felicia had heard about Tony's, Legend, and the playboy who slept with the cover girl of the 12th issue. At the moment, they actually gave up their interests and closed the weapons department that Stark Industry is most dependent on for survival. He did something meaningful. At least in this matter, Gwen and Felicia looked at him with admiration. After that, Stark Industries no longer makes weapons, but is a new company focusing on the development of new energy. We don't care about that. Felicia leaned close to Zhang Tianming's ear, puffed hot air, and said in detail, Today, Gwen and I are both here. 27. Gwen blushed pretty, and both of them held Zhang Tianming and pulled him upstairs, the season of spring came again. Two nights later, Zhang Tianming, Gwen, and Felicia were chatting about the past every day. Zhang Tianming was fine, but they just couldn't stand it, so they had to rest for a few days. Not only that, Zhang Tianming also participated in Tony's steel battle suit experiment, and gave Tony some small suggestions, which can be regarded as speeding up the completion. Dingaling, Zhang Tianming picked up his mobile phone in this world and answered the call. What do you want from me? Tony. It was Tony who called. He should have finished the research of Mark II at this time. With Ethan here, Tony's speed can be improved a little bit. I also have a rare friend and bosom friend. Please drink, come out, I'm already at your door. Tony's voice came from the phone, and Zhang Tianming, who had amazing hearing, could still hear Tony's voice outside the house. 
When Zhang Tianming walked out of the house, he saw Tony driving a convertible sports car parked on the side of the road waiting for him, with Ethan sitting in the co-pilot. Tony pointed to the seat at the back. Get in the car, I'll show you what a party is. The party he was talking about was a charity gala. On the road, Tony ignored the traffic rules and was speeding. Ethan was pale and grabbed his seat belt with some fear, while Zhang Tianming was wearing sunglasses and sitting in the back fearlessly. Look at you, Ethan, can't you learn from old Zhang? Old Zhang is Tony's way of calling Zhang Tianming, which started a few days ago. God, can't you slow down? Ethan knew that it would be better to just stay in the laboratory and study Tony's invention. I'm sorry, but I'm the fastest man except in bed. The corners of Tony's mouth rose, at least it felt good to have a close friend. The three came to the charity gala, Tony's appearance attracted everyone's attention, and Zhang Tianming beside him also attracted the attention of many ladies. If you touch casually, I will sue you for romantical harassment. Zhang Tianming, who broke free, followed Tony. When he saw Obadiah, the voice of the system sounded in his mind after a long absence. Issuing the task, solve the Iron King, survive this crisis safely, reward, 2B and A2 production blueprints and knowledge, plus production materials. Hearing this, Zhang Tianming's eyes lit up, 2B and A2, he was very impressed by these two beautiful white-haired ladies, he didn't expect the system to give him relevant knowledge to make. It seems that the maids in the future will be settled, and I have wanted my own maids for a long time. Just thinking about Miss 2B and Big Sister A2 wearing maid outfits, I believe it will be exciting. Came back to his senses, Zhang Tianming saw Tony met Shield Phil Coulson, and then found Pepper, and the whole process of dancing with Pepper. Zhang Tianming walked up to the lonely Ethan and ordered a glass of red wine. Why don't you find a woman to dance with? Ethan glanced at him and said speechlessly, Don't you know that I'm married? I didn't expect you to fall in love so much. Ethan had no choice but to shut up obediently and drank the mulled wine in his hand. At the same time, Phil Coulson accidentally discovered the unexpected 08 people. Mr. Zhang, hello, I'm Phil Coulson agent. Phil Coulson walked up to Zhang Tianming and said. Hearing this, Zhang Tianming raised his eyebrows. Could it be that he was exposed? Although he said he didn't care about his identity being exposed, it was obvious that he was hiding it. Do you know a college student named Peter Parker? I remember he was your classmate and friend. It turned out that he was looking for Peter. It seems that Peter's protection work is not good enough. Zhang Tianming took a sip of wine. So what if you know him? So what if you don't know him? Mr. Peter Parker is involved in an incident in New York and we need to speak to him face to face. Maybe it was because Peter accidentally exposed himself when fighting criminals, but Zhang Tianming didn't want to care about it. And if you want to find Peter, you can just go to him directly, what are you looking for, he doesn't believe that the black stewed egg will be so polite, so he likes to pretend to be sophisticated. Okay, next time I'll ask him if he's free, and what else can he do. Zhang Tianming lost his patience, so he planned to issue an order to evict the guest, with a very perfunctory tone, since he wouldn't ask anyway. Ah, uh, no more. Apparently, he was a little surprised by Zhang Tianming's flat attitude. He originally thought that the identity of an agent would shock him a little, but he was obviously wrong. It's fine if you don't have it. My friend and I still have something to talk about. Please avoid it for a while. Phil Coulson had no choice but to leave obediently. After Phil Coulson left, Ethan looked at Zhang Tianming strangely and asked, Do you know him? Yeah, coming from a hellish place that's now called Homeland Strategic Intervention Executive Logistics, believe me that's not a good place. What a place where moles are everywhere. Hee <laughs> hee, maybe, but this name should really be changed, it's really a mouthful. Ethan complained. Indeed, it doesn't sound like a good place, it's like shit. On the other side, Tony met the blonde reporter who had flirted with him not long ago. Tony Stark, what a rarity. Oh hey, ah. Uh. Tony hesitated to speak, he was trying to remember who the blonde girl in front of him was, after all, he had flirted with many women. In his mind, countless women were crazily skipped, and the smart brain began to screen people who matched the woman in front of him. Carly. Tony couldn't figure it out, so he had to make a random guess. Christine. The blonde reporter said helplessly, knowing that a playboy like Tony would not remember a one-night stand. 
I remember. Tony smiled awkwardly but politely. Afterwards, Christine handed a stack of photos to Tony, and Tony's face changed because he saw the name of their Stark Industries written on the weapons in the picture. Obviously I have stopped the weapons department, why are there still weapons sold? This town is called Gamilla. Christine reminded. When were these photos taken? Now Tony was full of anger, and he had a rough guess in his mind. Yesterday, even though you stopped the weapons department, it is clear that Stark Industries is not your decision alone. Later, Tony couldn't calm down. He walked up to Obadiah and asked him, have you seen these photos? Huh, what's going on with Jemila? They told me, you must stick to principles in business, and I I really believe it. We can't do business on both sides, can we? Obadiah's face gradually became indifferent, and then he hugged Tony's shoulders with a smile on his face, and said to a group of reporters, come and take a photo. Next to Tony's ear, he said in a voice that only two people could hear, Tony, how do you think the board of directors drove you away? I signed and issued an order. I did all this to protect you. All he did was to win the ownership of Stark Industries, and from then on Stark Industries was no longer Stark's, but his Obadiah's. In the rear, Zhang Tianming witnessed all of this. It won't be long before Iron Man will appear for the first time, and from then on, he will gradually enter the public's field of vision. I saw Tony walking in front of him and Ethan with a gloomy face, Ethan took the lead and said, wow, it seems that something big happened. Yeah, a nasty big thing. There was a flash of determination in Tony's eyes, and an idea popped into his mind. Let's go, go back and do the experiment. Tony and Ethan returned to the laboratory to continue researching the steel battle suit. It only takes about one night, and Mark Wong will be available soon. They invited Zhang Tianming to join them, but Zhang Tianming refused. The answer was that he didn't want to use his brain to protect his brain cells. Let's wait until 2B and A2 are built before using our brains. Zhang Tianming didn't follow, he just had to lie down and wait for the Iron Overlord to come out, and take the reward comfortably. To him, the Iron Overlord was just a bigger iron bump. Nothing to be afraid of. At noon the next day, Zhang Tianming came to Stark Industry, and in the morning, Tony flew to the small town of Gemula wearing a steel battle suit, and destroyed all those criminals and their weapons. The current Tony is estimated to have returned to Stark Industries. Zhang Tianming walked to Tony's laboratory, and saw a bunch of mechanical tentacles dismantling the steel battle suit on Tony's body. Now Tony still hasn't figured out the smooth and comfortable disassembly technology of the steel battle suit, so the at the moment mechanical tentacles are clumsily and rudely disassembling. Ethan gloated at the sight and said, look at your current state, how miserable it is. Tony also had a black face. Shut up, please. Now your friend is being tortured by a group of tentacles. Then he said to the group of mechanical tentacles, will you be gentle? This is my first time. Tony. Zhang Tianming called out. Seeing Zhang Tianming coming, Tony also greeted him. Good afternoon, old Zhang. I told you already. I know I know. Long ago, Zhang Tianming reminded Tony to let him improve the disassembly function, at least it won't be like now, almost being torn apart by five horses. Please, if you saw this embarrassment so early in the morning, if it was. Tony was about to say who it was when he saw someone coming from outside the door. Tony cursed secretly, what he was most worried about was coming, and that was the little Pepper. Pepper came in and saw Tony's steel battle suit riddled with holes, what's going on here? Are those bullet holes? Tony quickly turned his attention to Zhang Tianming and Ethan for help, but the two tacitly said nothing, and walked away directly, leaving the problem to Tony. Ethan has something to leave, and Zhang Tianming promised Felicia to date with her today. When Zhang Tianming came to the appointed place, he saw a slim white-haired beauty standing there, waiting for his sweetheart. Due to Zhang Tianming's influence, Felicia's dress became more conservative, wearing a black dress. Did I keep you waiting? No, I just arrived. Felicia smiled sweetly, and then took Zhang Tianming's arm and went shopping with him. This kind of life is what he wants, being with his beloved woman, fighting criminals is a small pleasure of his interest, participating in various major events, an ordinary life is the real one. Felicia was choosing clothes in the clothing store, while Zhang Tianming stood there watching her wear all kinds of clothes. Suddenly, Zhang Tianming frowned slightly, 
he looked behind, and finally fixed his gaze on a young girl. Spider telepathy had conveyed the reaction to him just now, and it was different from encountering the same kind before, this time it was a bit weird. Coincidentally, that girl also seemed to feel something, she also looked back, Zhang Tianming saw her face clearly this time, beautiful short black hair, lovely facial features. It's just that she didn't see Zhang Tianming. This feeling, like, similar. What's the matter, Tianming? Felicia raised her hand and waved it in front of Zhang Tianming's eyes, interrupting Zhang Tianming's meditation. Nothing. Maybe some new Spider-Man was born, he didn't think too much about it, the most important thing is to be with his girlfriend right now. Zhang Tianming smiled and shook his head. He hugged Felicia's waist and left after paying the bill. He didn't think about the previous problem anymore, and let things take their course. As for Obadiah, he has no plans to deal with it at the moment. The task given by the system is to solve the Iron King. Obadiah without a battle suit is not considered the Iron King. The time came tonight. Tony looked left and right, and said with some dissatisfaction, Old Zhang, forget it, Ethan, if you don't help, don't call me when you go out. Ding lingaling, the phone on the sofa rang suddenly. Tony went up to get the phone, then sat on the sofa, and connected the call. However, he didn't even say a word when a sudden change happened. Boom. A sound from a mechanical instrument sounded from behind him, and Tony felt that his whole body could not move and fell into paralysis. Tony. Tony, are you listening? Even though Pepper was calling on the phone, Tony could hear him, but he couldn't speak to him. I saw a bald head poking out from behind the sofa. It was someone Tony was very familiar with, and that was Obadiah. Take a deep breath and relax. Obadiah rested Tony's head on the couch and walked up to him. You're a chicken that lays golden eggs, Tony. Obadiah took out an instrument and placed it on the arc reactor on Tony's chest. Ah. Tony groaned in pain because of the arc reactor's detachment, and now he couldn't even yell out the pain. Look at how beautiful it is, it's your relic. Obadiah sat beside Tony with the arc reactor in his hand, and whispered in his ear. The new generation of weapons will be equipped with such a core, Stark, oh no, Stanley Industries will prosper under my leadership. Obadiah directly changed Stark Industries to his own name, which shows that he is full of confidence in this, and he believes that Tony will definitely not survive tonight. I'm sorry for bringing your pots into this. Obadiah's words made Tony's eyes widen, and he couldn't believe that he had involved Pepper in the grievances between him, Noma Zhao. He could only watch Obadiah leave with his arc reactor, Tony desperately trying to move his body. After a while, the numbness in Tony's body eased a little. He walked towards the elevator with difficulty. After entering the elevator, he felt that his breathing began to be a little difficult. Finally, the elevator opened, and Tony leaned on the wall to come to his laboratory, where the old arc reactor that Little Pepper hadn't lost was converted. Tony's face gradually paled, and he began to feel a little weak. He fell to the ground and crawled to the table with difficulty, wanting to get the, warm heart, that the Little Pepper left him. Fortunately, Rode arrived in time with Ethan, and they exclaimed when they saw the pale Tony lying on the ground. Tony. Tony, how are you? Rhodes turned Tony's body over and asked worriedly seeing Tony's extremely pale face. Rhodes didn't know what happened to Tony, but Ethan at the side knew that he immediately picked up the old arc reactor on the table, smashed it hard on the ground, and the glass cover shattered directly. Clang. This could save his life. Ethan installed the arc reactor on Tony's body, and Tony's complexion gradually became better. Where's Potts? Tony immediately asked the question he was most concerned about, and a sense of uncertainty slowly rose in his heart. She's fine, she's taking five agents together to arrest Obadiah. Rode comforted him hastily. Five is not enough. Tony stood up and walked to his steel battle suit. He had to stop Obadiah, who was in great danger now. The mechanical tentacles began to install the steel battle suit on his body. Rhodes' eyes lit up and sighed, this is really the coolest thing I have ever seen. Then Tony walked to the hole he had thrown out earlier. Rhodes asked, is there anything I need to do? Make sure the air is unimpeded. After finishing speaking, the mask closed, and then a violent energy burst out, and Tony flew straight into the sky. Rhodes looked at Mark II aside, I'll be back, baby. Ethan pointed to 823 and asked himself, what about me? 
Rhodes looked at the ground, and pointed to the glass slag. You made these, clean them up. Quote dot dot dot. What? On the other side, Pepper had brought a group of agents including Phil Coulson to arrest Obadiah, but the other party put on huge amounts of iron suits and broke them up. Pepper ran to the door, and then she received a call from Tony, Tony, are you okay? Obadiah is crazy, and he made the same one as you. I know, you have to go farther away. Boom. Suddenly, little Pepper felt the ground trembling. She turned around and saw that the ground began to crack, and a figure with huge amounts of crawled out of it. Get out of there quickly. Tony yelled immediately after hearing the voice on the phone. But at the moment little Pepper has been scared silly. I found you. Obadiah raised his hand, and the heavy machine gun on his arm began to spin. You are useless. Little Pepper just feels that her feet are not in control, is she going to die? Bang. Suddenly, an invisible figure flashed past, hitting the heavy machine gun in Obadiah's hand, destroying it. Time. Out. Time out. Obadiah only heard a mechanical sound, he heard the sound and looked around, and at some point a black figure appeared there, it was a figure he had never seen before. That is Zhang Tianming in Fei's acceleration form. No matter who you are, anyone who stops me will die. Obadiah swung huge amounts of fists and punched Zhang Tianming. Zhang Tianming did not rush, and slowly raised a hand to catch Obadiah's punch, Obadiah was dumbfounded, and Xiao Zhao was dumbfounded, Tuolu who is flying over also understands. A fist as big as someone's is caught by a pitiful hand that's so small. Zhang Tianming smiled slightly under the mask, and suddenly he slowly closed his fingers, and his fingertips sank directly into Iron Overlord fist. He immediately raised his hand, and slammed his forearm down, breaking Iron Overlord fist in an instant. Boom. What kind of monster are you? Obadiah looked at his broken hand, and the electric sparks there undoubtedly told him that these were real. He couldn't help being afraid, and couldn't help backing away. But Zhang Tianming didn't give him this chance, he leapt forward and hit Iron Bully King's chin with an uppercut. Bang. Iron Overlord's entire body was directly knocked into the air, and then fell down from the place where he originally climbed up, and fell back to the 16th district he built. Boom. Zhang Tianming's figure landed heavily in front of the Iron Overlord, and the ground split open. I don't care what you are, I will kill you. The Iron Overlord raised his left hand, and six consecutive missiles on his left arm shot towards Zhang Tianming. A laser sword emitting red light appeared in his hand, and then observed the flight track of the missile with extremely strong eyesight. Buzz. Zhang Tianming waved the laser sword in his hand. In the dark laboratory, the photon blood on Zhang Tianming's body and the light of the laser sword in his hand were flickering. Boom boom. The laser sword accurately slashed at the flying missile, and the missile exploded, and huge amounts of explosion flames enveloped the entire laboratory. In the sea of flames, all the other five missiles were destroyed. After the flames ended, Obadiah among the iron tyrants was dumbfounded. He couldn't believe what he saw. Pure strength is no opponent, and thermal weapons have no effect on it. Is the opponent invincible? I don't believe it's true. A missile appeared on Iron Overlord's shoulder, an anti-tank missile that could easily destroy a tank. Obviously you failed, Obadiah. Zhang Tianming said flatly. Obadiah was completely shocked. Who the hell are you and why do you know my name? That is to say, everything and purpose of oneself are as transparent in the eyes of the other party, which makes Obadiah unable to bear the creeps. The anti-tank missile on the shoulder of Iron Overlord exploded at Zhang Tianming with Obadiah's roar. Zhang Tianming just stood there, he no longer waved the laser sword in his hand, but raised his other hand, opened his palm to catch the anti-tank missile. A violent sea of flames emerged again, directly engulfing Zhang Tianming in it. Did it succeed? Obadiah couldn't even believe it, but the next second, he was completely desperate. Seeing Zhang Tianming walk out of the sea of flames intact, extremely calm, Zhang Tianming said, you are too weak, the weapons on your body are all products of the old age, you will never be able to replace Stark, you are the most incompetent one. Shut up. Obadiah in Iron Overlord roared and rushed towards Zhang Tianming. The time has come. Start. Up. Start timing. The figure of Zhang Tianming disappeared directly, and the Iron Overlord jumped into the air, but he couldn't see Zhang Tianming's figure when he looked around, suddenly a red light radiated from the sky above him. 
Obadiah looked up and saw a dozen crimson electric drills appearing above him. Crimson. Smash. Crimson diamond strike. Obadiah already knew that his time of death had arrived. Ah. Twelve crimson electric drills hit Iron Overlord body, and Iron Overlord collapsed instantly, connecting with Obadiah among them. Iron King Obadiah, declared dead. Congratulations to the host for completing the task, rewards, 2B and A2 production drawings and related knowledge, plus production materials. The produced 2B and A2 have a strength of nearly 80 tons, and have the same steel body as the host, and various data can be improved with the host's strength. According to this, the stronger Zhang Tianming becomes in the future, the stronger 2B and A2 will become, and the two will be bound together. Zhang Tianming didn't think about it anymore, but jumped back to the ground with a light jump. At the moment Tony had already moved the little pepper to a safe place. When he landed and saw Zhang Tianming appearing in front of him intact, Tony couldn't help wondering if Obadiah didn't make any high destructive weapons, otherwise why Zhang Tianming didn't even take off his skin. No matter who you are, thank you. Tony thanked him sincerely. Without the other party, he really doesn't know what kind of danger his pots would encounter. Tony, I warned you to be careful with Obadiah, and you see you're ignoring my words again. The familiar tone made Tony slightly taken aback, and he couldn't believe it, old Zhang. It's really you. The explosion that happened at Stark Industries yesterday was due to a malfunction of the robot, which resulted in the damage of the arc generator. After the incident, everyone was in the lounge of the press conference. Pepper was helping Tony to remove the white hemostatic patch on his face. As for why he was injured, he fell from the air due to lack of energy. Iron Man, that's a nice name, I like it to be honest, but it's not strictly accurate, it's made of gold and titanium. But anyway, it's a nice name. Pepper rolled her eyes, she was used to Tony's appearance, and she didn't intend to say anything. Zhang Tianming watched all this with a smile, now four people know his true identity, but he doesn't care. The important thing is that in order to thank Zhang Tianming, Tony asked him to make a random request. Zhang Tianming wanted a laboratory. At first Tony let him use his own laboratory, but Zhang Tianming refused, he wanted his own laboratory, Tony didn't feel anything, after all, everyone has their own privacy. Tony agreed to Zhang Tianming's request, and the time was set to be three weeks later. He would give Zhang Tianming a perfect laboratory, although Zhang Tianming didn't know why it took so long. This is your excuse, backquote Phil Coulson handed some speeches to Tony, you were on the yacht, and the witnesses were all ready. Hmm, maybe it should be changed to me and Potts on the yacht. Tony also glanced at Pepper with a smile, and Pepper was used to his teasing. The three people on the side were all shown off by them, Zhang Tianming thought it was nothing, after all he had several, while Ethan and Phil Coulson just looked envious. Thank you for your help, Mr. Phil Coulson. Little Pepper thanked. Homeland strategy. It's called Shield now. It should be, it's my job. Phil Coulson still has that professional smiley face. Honestly speaking, it's much easier to speak after changing the name. Tony complained, what kind of diva was that before? Tony stood on the podium and answered many questions from the reporters, among which he was picked on by the blonde reporter Christine. In the end, Tony didn't intend to continue to speak according to the words in the speech, he decided to show his cards and say the classic words. Actually, I am Iron Man. This remark set off an upsurge, and reporters hurriedly picked up their cameras to record this historic moment, after all, this is big news. The stocks that plummeted not long ago have gradually recovered, and there are even faint signs of surpassing the record. And this scene was also seen by the director of the Internal Trader Bureau, Hey Luden, who smiled slightly, getting closer and closer to the plan in his heart. Hill, how did I ask you to investigate? Nick Fury asked Hill beside him. Nick Fury asked Hill to investigate Zhang Tianming and Gwen, who have had many contacts with Peter, and now they know that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. It's been found out. You already know the identity of Gwen Stacy, the daughter of Chief George of the New York Police Department. As for Zhang Tianming, an overseas Chinese who lived in the country more than 10 years ago, his parents died in an accident, leaving him a six-year-old child, who was assisted by Mrs. Parker. They were classmates with Peter Parker. Hill looked at the information in his hand and reported the above information to Nick Fury. 
Nick Fury frowned after hearing this, although he couldn't see the brow. That's all. Nick Fury asked, somewhat disbelieving how little information there was. Unfortunately, that's all. Hill said helplessly. We tried all kinds of methods, but we couldn't match Zhang Tianming and Gwen Stacy with Black Spider and Ghost Spider. Whether it's surveillance, satellites, or other technologies, as long as you investigate a little deeper, you will be blocked by a mysterious force. No matter what high tech you are, once you go deep, the system will crash, which is why Zhang Tianming and Gwen have not been exposed so far. That is to say, except for Zhang Daiming's active exposure under his nose, the usual shooting techniques, satellite detection and other scientific and technological means are all invalidated. It's just that there is some useful information, that is, when Tony Stark came back, Zhang Tianming was with him. Money is good. Nick Fury pondered why a college graduate would be with Tony Stark when they hadn't seen anything before. Is the other party a super hacker? Unfortunately not, the other party's transaction records do not contain any electronic equipment, if there is, it is just an ordinary daily necessities. Nick Fury had a black line on his face, and the black on the black was black, and he said to Hill, keep an eye on him, he may be the main reason why Tony Stark can come back alive. SHIELD's investigation system has never suffered such a sham, and it is unknown who the other party is. Such a mysterious person reminds him of a person from before. By the way, hack into the system at Tony Stark's house. I'm going to go to his house and meet him in person. Okay, sir. Three weeks later, New York was unexpectedly calm during this period, except for one big event, which was the battle between the Hulk and the Abomination. Since the system didn't release tasks, Zhang Tianming didn't bother to join in the fun. The most important thing is that Gwen and Felicia have been sticking to themselves, so Zhang Tianming had no choice but to accompany them. Early morning. A ray of sunlight entered the room, Zhang Tianming woke up slowly, and slowly pulled out the hand that was pressed under the body by the second daughter. Buzzing, Zhang Tianming, who was washing his face in the bathroom, suddenly felt the phone vibrating in his pocket, and he would set his phone to vibrate at night, which is a daily habit. Tony, what's the matter? It was Tony's personal phone that called. Have you forgotten what day it is? Zhang Tianming was a little speechless. Why did you learn the tricks of women? It's weird to be asked by a man early in the morning what day is it, okay? Put your farts away. You are a real person. Didn't you want me to help you build a laboratory? It's already built now. Tony said angrily. 350 hearing the words, Zhang Tianming regained his energy in an instant. He has been waiting for this laboratory for a long time. Ever since he got the knowledge about the systematic Neil Automata, he has always wanted his own laboratory. Not only can he make his own 2B and A2 girls, but he can also help Gwen and Felicia make and strengthen battle suits. Okay, where are you now? Come to the company to find me. After getting the location, Zhang Tianming tidied up his clothes and planned to go out when Gwen appeared at the door of the bathroom. Where are you going? Gwen rubbed her sleepy eyes and asked curiously. Go and see my laboratory, I will take care of your battle suits from now on. Zhang Tianming smiled and kissed Gwen on the face. Gwen's eyes lit up, and she hugged Zhang Tianming's waist and said, I'm going too. She also wanted to see what her man's laboratory looked like. Zhang Tianming definitely wouldn't refuse, and immediately nodded his head, AIDB, yes, this is nothing more than adding someone. After Gwen changed her pajamas into plain clothes, the two came to the garage and headed to Stark Industry in a Bugatti Veyron. Not long after, Zhang Tianming and Gwen came to Tony Stark's company. After they parked the car, they came to the Stark building, the predecessor of the Avengers building. As soon as they arrived, they saw Tony drinking wine on the sofa. When he saw Gwen, he said to Zhang Tianming jokingly, I didn't expect you to be enlightened. No wonder you refused my party invitation. With Tony's temperament, it is his habit to hold parties. He will invite his friends Ethan, Zhang Tianming and Rhodes, and except Rhodes, the other two will refuse his invitation. Ethan is doing research on the grounds, but Zhang Tianming just doesn't know, and usually hangs up after refusing. Stop talking nonsense, where is my laboratory? Tony drank the wine in his hand in one gulp then pointed with his thumb to the airfield behind him, where a helicopter was parked. First we have to sit in this. Zhang Tianming was a little surprised. 
Why does a laboratory take a helicopter? Is it far away? You'll know when we get there. Tony smiled mysteriously. Looking at it, Zhang Tianming really wanted to slap his stinky face. Tony sat in the co-pilot, while Zhang Tianming and Gwen sat in the back, and they drove the helicopter to New York overseas. Until they landed on an island, Zhang Tianming stared at Tony, what I want is to experiment with what to do next. Don't stare at me like that, the, laboratory, you want is here. Tony smiled, which was undoubtedly showing off his own financial resources. Tony pointed to the four-story villa, that's yours. Pointing to the beach again, that's yours too. Opening your arms at the end is like wrapping the whole island, it's all yours. Tony flicked his hair stinkingly, with a confident smile on his face, let me introduce to you, Stark Brand Artificial Island, with a land area of 0.8 square kilometers and complete facilities. Charming sandy beaches, green golf courses, blue swimming pools, green groves, etc., all the facilities you want are here. These are all completed by Stark Industries and myself within three weeks, how about it? Tony also raised an eyebrow at Zhang Tianming, as if to say that he is going to praise me. Hee hee, you are so fast. You. Tony pointed to Zhang Tianming, it's fine if you don't praise me, what does it mean to be weird? Anyway, these are all yours. There are helicopters and yachts here. If you need anything else, just call me. Tony waved his hand, then suddenly thought of something and said, Oh, by the way, there will be a party tonight, remember to come. After speaking, Tony took the previous helicopter and left the island. Gwen put her waist in and said with a smile, So, that stinky playboy gave you an island. This Tony Stark is really generous, a valuable artificial island is free to give away, but before Zhang Tianming simply asked for a laboratory, he didn't ask for an island. Yeah, it looks like we have to move. Zhang Tianming had no choice but to accept it, not for nothing. Not only that, this artificial island has a long road leading to New York, and this road is probably only used by them, and there are guards hired by Tony in New York. Whether you want to fly, yacht, or car is Zhang Tianming's business. But these are far from enough, Zhang Tianming pinched his chin and thought, he must strengthen the island's defensive ability, with Neil's knowledge of automata, he really has the ability to do it. Night. Tony held a party in his company, and it is said that famous people will receive invitations. In the changing room, Pepper was helping Tony to organize his suit, Tony smiled slightly, how am I today? It's very good. I'm sure it will captivate many beauties. Little Pepper said perfunctorily, obviously she knew Tony's temperament very well. You know I'm asking how you feel. Pepper looked up at Tony, rolled his eyes with a smile, and patted Tony's chest. Okay, it's time for the main character of the party to play. Later, Tony and Pepper in dresses appeared at the party. As the hosts of the party, they all smiled and greeted the high-class people. Tonight's party is to celebrate Stark Industries' stock recovery and skyrocketing, so celebrities from all walks of life will gather here. Rhodes and Ethan, as men without a female companion, were drinking together tacitly. After taking a sip of the wine, Rhodes said, that Tony is really enviable. Yeah, it's really enviable. Ethan also took a sip of mulled wine, and not long after that he noticed a familiar figure approaching the door. He quietly said to Rhodes on the side, the guy at the door is the envy. Rhodes frowned in surprise, then followed Ethan's line of sight, and found the true identity of the visitor, and couldn't help but say. After finishing speaking, Rhodes' face turned black on top of black, his eyes were full of envy. The real identity of the visitor was Zhang Tianming who was invited. At the moment Zhang Tianming was wearing a black suit, surrounded by a beautiful woman on the left and right, they were Gwen and Felicia, Gwen was wearing a white long dress, and Felicia was wearing a black long dress, they they all wear ponytails, looking noble and beautiful. In an instant, the combination of handsome men and beautiful women attracted the attention of everyone present, amazed all the high-class people. Did they come last on purpose on purpose? Tony complained, with a hint of pride in his heart, this is my friend of Tony Stark. Pepper patted him on the chest to tell him to stop his mischief, then stepped forward to hug Gwen and Felicia with a smile on his face, you are so beautiful tonight. Thank you, Miss Potts. Both Gwen and Felicia thanked in unison. And Tony came in front of Zhang Tianming, tell me, how does it feel to be in the limelight? 
Zhang Tianming looked around, he met the eyes of those high-ranking people without any fear, then turned around and said, to be honest, it's not bad. The protagonist is not you. After Tony finished speaking, he took the microphone and started telling a few jokes to brighten up the atmosphere. Hey, audition audition. To be honest, my friend has attracted your attention, so as the host, I should have the right to redeem my status. Zhang Tianming raised an international friendly gesture to Tony, causing Tony couldn't help complaining. My god, this person is really rude, I don't know him. Ha 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 ha. The interaction between Zhang Tianming and Tony made everyone at the party couldn't help laughing. Okay, everyone, enjoy tonight's party to the fullest, let the music begin. The music played along with Tony's words, and everyone started dancing with their partners. Gwen and Felicia looked at each other and smiled, and Felicia said first, you first or me first. I didn't tell you today, so I went out with Tianming privately, you go first. Gwen said with a smile. Felicia didn't give in any more, she boldly put Zhang Tianming's hand on her slender waist, and started dancing with the boy she liked. Am I beautiful today? Felicia looked at Zhang Tianming without any shyness, her tone full of love. Beautiful, my lady, it's like an angel descending. Zhang Tianming's sweet words finally broke through Felicia's heart, and she couldn't help but tiptoe slightly, touching her fragrant lips to Zhang Tianming's. The sweet moments of the two are seen by everyone, and they will feel that each other is like a couple of gods and gods, a natural pair. Even Tony found his posse and danced with her after watching it. Only Rhodes and Ethan's injured world was completed. The two elders looked at each other, raised their wine glasses towards each other, and toasted the singles. They drank the scorching hot wine in one gulp, and it was their hearts that burned. It's my turn. Gwen at the moment interjected. After parting their lips, Felicia took the initiative to let go of Zhang Tianming with a smile, and pushed him towards Gwen, he's yours now. Zhang Tianming couldn't help but rolled his eyes, what do you think of me? A toy that you give to others when you're done using it. Thinking about it, Zhang Tianming still took the initiative to hug Gwen, and he usually takes the initiative when it comes to Gwen, do you still remember what I told you when I came back? Definitely remember, maybe in the future, we will get married and have a daughter. Gwen rested her head on Zhang Tianming's chest, quietly listening to his strong heartbeat. Why doesn't she look forward to that future, they hold their daughter for a walk in the sunset, it's wonderful to think about it. That future won't be far away. Zhang Tianming smiled and lowered his head, writing about his first lover kissing. I'll keep waiting. She waited for that day all the time. 1001. At the party, Tony took Zhang Tianming to meet many high-class people, and Gwen and Felicia talked about daily life with Pepper. Zhang Tianming faked a perfunctory smile the whole time, and finally said to Tony next to him, Tony, what do you want to do? I will show you how big the world is, which may help you in the future. Tony said, taking a sip of the wine in his hand. If you want to know how big the world is, Zhang Tianming is definitely better than Tony, whether it is the future Thanos, or the OAA and the God group that have not yet appeared, the five creation gods and other extraordinary existences. Zhang Tianming didn't intend to argue with Tony either. 967, suddenly Zhang Tianming saw a somewhat familiar but unrecognizable figure, he pointed to that figure, he was a middle-aged man in his middle age, who is that? Tony took a look, carefully searched for information about this person in his mind, and finally thought of saying, Henry Jonathan Pym, everyone calls him Hank Pym, he is a biochemist and scientist. Then Tony frowned and thought for a while before saying, he seems to have invented a new thing called Pym particles. Hearing this, Zhang Tianming finally knew the identity of the other party. It turned out to be a generation of Ant-Man, but the other party didn't seem to be from the movie version. It's just that he has no interest in Pym particles. Although he can make himself bigger or smaller, his power will also increase accordingly, but to be honest, he prefers to follow the physical flow, and he will only take the technological flow when necessary. It is worth mentioning that in the comics, Ultron was created by Hank Pym, only in the movie universe, it was changed to Tony and Bruce Banner. It has to be said that he is also a genius who follows the flow of science and technology. Understood, huh? The appearance of Hank Pym made Zhang Tianming pay more attention to the party. 
he began to look around and found a tall and thin white man and a short and stocky white man. Who is that then? Zhang Tianming pointed to them. Tony followed the direction Zhang Tianming was pointing at and saw the two men. Tony turned into a science expert again. Reed Richards, I have to admit that he is a genius. The one next to him should be his assistant, but I forgot the name. Tony would automatically filter those unimportant names out of his head, he couldn't even remember women, let alone men. Perhaps Zhang Tianming knows that it should be one of the future Fantastic Four, the stone man Ben Grimm. In Reed Richards is one of the smartest people in the Marvel Universe, Mr. Fantastic, one of the Fantastic Four. The current stone men are still normal people, that is to say, they have not yet gone into space, their bodies have been transformed by cosmic rays, and they are still normal people now. Just when Zhang Tianming was thinking, suddenly, a systematic voice came from Zhang Tianming's mind. Issuing a mission, participate in the event of the birth of the Fantastic Four, mission reward, random unknown. It seems that there is another reward, Zhang Tianming thought, he patted Tony on the shoulder and said, take me to get to know them. Tony was a little surprised, how far away you were from those people just now, but now you actually take the initiative to get to know them, but you don't care, maybe they have something attractive. Hey, Reed. Tony stepped forward to greet him very familiarly. Oh, Mr. Stark. Geniuses tend to attract each other, and Reed shook hands with him warmly when he saw Tony. Let me introduce, this is my friend, Zhang Tianming, he is also a rare technological genius, although he is a little bit worse than me. Tony put Zhang Tianming's shoulders and introduced to Reed. Being able to get Tony's acknowledgement, Reed naturally wouldn't ignore it, he also shook hands with Zhang Tianming with a smile on his face. Nice meeting, Mr. Zhang. Nice meeting, Mr. Richards. Zhang Tianming stated his purpose directly, and he asked Reed, Mr. Richards, I heard that you discovered a cosmic storm that will approach the Earth. Hearing this, Reed's eyes widened in surprise. You, how did you know? Not long ago he accepted the sponsorship of Victor, his university competitor. In a few days, he and his best friend will board a spaceship and go to outer space to study the cosmic storm. I also want to join this action. Reed and Junxiang glanced at each other, they still haven't recovered from Zhang Tianming's knowledge of what they found. Tony. Zhang Tianming went down and summoned his tool man. Tony rolled his eyes, and then he said to the reeds, this action plan, Stark Industries will sponsor some 5.2 funds, just bring him. Reed could only nod dumbly, and only recovered after Tony and Zhang Tianming walked away. Tony put Zhang Tianming's shoulders and said to him, I don't care about the money, but, what do you think? You want to go to outer space and be an astronaut. Zhang Tianming glanced at Tony speechlessly, really didn't know you were so mean. Trust me Tony, the world is only going to get bigger. This space travel might be different. Three days later, Zhang Tianming followed Reed and Ben to the spaceship launch site. Speaking of which, this is Zhang Tianming's first time in space. Although there will be more opportunities in the future, I don't know if the cosmic rays will have an effect on him this time. Oh shit. Reed who took the lead, met someone he really didn't want to see, and that was his enemy Victor. When Victor saw Zhang Tianming, Reed and others coming here, a smile of a superior appeared on his face. Seeing Reed's deflated expression, Zhang Tianming guessed who the other party was, the future Dr. Doom, Victor Von Doom. It is worth mentioning that Dr. Doom is one of the most attractive villains. He knows both magic and technology, and has achieved the results of both magic and technology. It is also a powerful enemy at the boss level, basically at the same level as Thanos, except for Thanos wearing the Infinity Gauntlet. I think you are Zhang Tianming. The condition for Star 08G Industries investment is to bring you along, and I don't know what bright spots you have. Victor said conceitedly. It can be said that he thinks highly of few people. Zhang Tianming is not Reed and the others. He is not influenced by Victor. He immediately said, Did you brush your teeth? Your mouth smells so bad, and your body also smells like rancid capital. I suggest you take a bath more often. Squeeze more shower gel. Quote. Then hang it on the street lamp to dry for a few days. Immediately, Zhang Tianming walked straight over without showing any face, and bumped into Victor's shoulder directly. PFF'd. Hearing a muffled sound, 
Victor's face was ferocious, and he covered the shoulder hit by Zhang Tianming. Fortunately, Zhang Tianming held back his strength, otherwise it wouldn't be as simple as the pain. Seeing this, Reed and Ben looked at each other, and the smiles in their eyes almost overflowed. At least they had a good impression of Zhang Tianming's approach. Sorry Victor, kid, it's normal to have a little temper. Reed said to Victor with a smile Mei Weiming, who is still a college graduate, is indeed a child entering society in their eyes. HMPH. Victor stopped talking to Reed, snorted and directly entered the interior of the spaceship. Anyway, at least I'm happy. Ben looked at Victor's shriveled back, and said to Reed with a smile. In their eyes, Zhang Tianming was Tony's friend, and he didn't dare to do anything to Zhang Tianming. Zhang Tianming, who entered the interior, looked at the staff walking around, and was a little confused. He was wondering where to get the space uniform, but he walked too fast and forgot to ask Reed. Excuse me, are you Mr. Zhang? A pleasant voice sounded behind Zhang Tianming. Zhang Tianming turned around and looked only to see a blonde beauty in a dark blue space suit standing there, she looked at Zhang Tianming with a smile. That's me, what's the matter? That's right, my name is Susan. After introducing herself, Susan handed a space suit in her arms to Zhang Tianming, this is your uniform. Thank you very much, Susan. Zhang Tianming took the uniform with a smile, and thought of Susan's message in his mind. The full name is Susan Stone, one of the Fantastic Four, the invisible woman, who can make herself invisible as well as others, can also create a protective force field, and has flight and the ability to control the movement of objects. She is also the wife of Mr. Fantastic Reed in the original timeline, but what Zhang Tianming doesn't know is that Susan at the moment is not in love with Reed. Nice to meet you, Susan. My full name is Zhang Tianming. Zhang Tianming smiled and extended his hand politely. Susan shook Zhang Tianming's hand. I know, I have read your profile. She has a good impression of this handsome and handsome man in front of her, and she has a gentleman's demeanor and doesn't look at her with that kind of obscene eyes. The time is almost up, please board the ship after subduing. Susan glanced at the clock on the wall, and said, I heard that you came with Reed and the others, so please hand over these uniforms to them, please. It's nothing. Zhang Tianming agreed, at the moment Zhang Tianming didn't know that his appearance changed the relationship between Reed and Susan. After Zhang Tianming found Reed and Ben, they were still packing their things, so he stepped forward and handed them the uniforms. Where did you go? Reed asked curiously. Walk around. Ben frowned and glanced back and forth at the uniform in his hand, whether I wear this suit to fly or to jump into Swan Lake, who designed it. It's Victor 173. The three of them heard the sound and saw a young man walking over. He should be Susan's younger brother. Jonathan Stone, aka Johnny Stone. Human Torch, one of the Fantastic Four, can emit fire all over his body, can fly, and the temperature can reach the level of the sun after exhausting all ability. But it also has a fatal weakness, it cannot burn without oxygen, and it will be extinguished by a large amount of water. My name is Johnny, I'm Susan's younger brother, and my sister asked me to say hello. Ben and Reed naturally knew Susan's younger brother, so it was naturally Zhang Tianming who came to say hello. I haven't seen the captain of the country yet, but there are still photos from World War II. For comparison, Johnny and Steve really look similar. If he didn't know that the captain of the bad country, Steve, was not dead, otherwise Zhang Tianming would think that Johnny was Steve's reincarnation. Hello, Johnny. It happened that Zhang Tianming was about the same age as Johnny, but obviously, Zhang Tianming was much calmer than him. It's almost time, let's go up. Reed looked at his watch and said to Mei Tianming and the others. Zhang Tianming and others carried the spacecraft to the space station in outer space. On the way, Victor looked at Zhang Tianming and Susan talking and laughing with a dirty face, and Reed also showed envious eyes. Johnny, who was sitting with Ben, rubbed his chin and thought about it. As Susan's younger brother, he could see that his sister's favorability for Zhang Tianming was rising, and he was about to surpass Victor and Reed soon. And Reed's best friend, Ben, couldn't help shaking his head when he saw Reed's behavior that he only dared to look at. In this regard, his best friend will always be lacking. What do you think will happen to them in the end? Johnny asked Ben on the side, but he knew what Reed and Victor meant to his sister. Don't get so close, it's disgusting. 
Ben pushed away Johnny's approaching face in disgust. He really would never deal with this young man. As for Johnny's question, Ben didn't have the intention to answer it. He also mentioned Reed, but the other party was obviously weak in this regard, so he said everything that should be said. I think this person is quite suitable for my sister. Johnny ignored Ben's disgust and muttered to himself. Although Victor is talented and rich, he is too stinky, even more stinky than him, and he doesn't like it at all. In his eyes, Reed is the stupidest smart person, and he is too weak in the face of feelings. After everyone disembarked from the spaceship and came to the space station, they all went to work in their own positions. Sue. Victor just wanted to stop Susan, but was interrupted by Zhang Tianming. Susan, I'm not familiar with this space station, can you show me around? Zhang Tianming has no intention of disgusting Victor, but if possible, he doesn't mind disgusting Victor, he just needs a seductive beauty to let him get acquainted with this place. Definitely. Susan was happy to help. Victor just looked at Zhang Tianming and Susan's leaving back, he couldn't help but get angry, he slapped the fence hard, and then shook his hand in pain. PFF. Johnny couldn't hold back, seeing Victor looked over, he quickly pulled Ben around and left. Victor only felt that his face was shameless, he glared at Reed who was still on the scene, and then left. Reed, who was stared at, shrugged and said that he was innocent so he had no choice but to take his own things and start preparing for testing equipment. It's so funny, haven't you seen Victor's expression like eating shit, it's so funny. Johnny laughed unscrupulously on the road. Even Ben in his spacesuit couldn't help laughing, and Victor was arguably the one they all hated. If I want a brother-in-law, I will definitely choose someone like Zhang Tianming. Johnny said while handing the test materials to Ben. Ben took the test material. I admit that Zhang Tianming's temperament and conversation are very comfortable, but Ben also wanted to praise his best friend, but when he thought about it carefully, Reed seemed to have no merits other than brains and morals. Look, you feel the same way. Don't use your little brain. Ben rolled his eyes speechlessly, then turned around and prepared to work. And Zhang Tianming and Susan over there. Susan looked at Zhang Tianming in surprise. Are you sure you are a college student? Just now, Zhang Tianming was able to recognize all the equipment in the space station, and he also knew how to operate it. This is a graduate student. I don't know who thought it was a person with a doctoral professor level. I am indeed a college student, and the information will not be false. Neil's knowledge of the mechanical era is also the knowledge of human beings in the distant future. Isn't it simple to recognize a device? You mean, you are self-taught. Susan was even more surprised, no one can reach the level of a doctoral professor by self-taught, definitely, except for a certain Stark whose surname is Arita. Well, you can understand that too. Wow, that's amazing. It's okay, that's it. After Zhang Tianming was modest, he suddenly thought of something and asked Susan, how are you and Reed? How about what? Susan looked at Zhang Tianming strangely, she didn't understand what Zhang Tianming meant. Huh. Susan's reaction at the moment was somewhat beyond Zhang Tianming's expectations. Is it another butterfly effect? It's like an ordinary colleague relationship. I heard that you and Reed are college classmates. What kind of person is he? He's very smart, but he's a little dull. Susan's evaluation was flat, just like a student evaluating his classmate who is not very playful. Well, it seems that things have changed again, and Zhang Tianming is used to it, even if one day the Fantastic Four become the Fantastic Three, he doesn't remember being weird. On Reed's side, he found that the cosmic storm had begun to arrive early, and as soon as he thought that Ben was still outside, he ran out. He came to Victor's main command room and reminded him, Victor, the storm came a few hours earlier, there may be some danger, stop the operation immediately. Everything is in a panic, look at you, just close the protective cover. Victor's words made Reed stare, he couldn't believe it, but Ben is still outside. Then you shouldn't be dawdling here, if I were you, I would take him back now. Reed didn't dawdle, and directly said to Ben through the headset, Ben, get out of there quickly, and come back quickly. But I haven't finished my work yet, high achieving student. But in the next moment, Ben felt something strange behind him. The crimson cosmic storm was attacking him and the entire space station, so he kicked his feet and flew directly to the space station without dawdling. 
but it was just a little bit short, Li Jiao's, and he was already affected by the cosmic storm, pushing his whole body to the space station. Ben. Reed watched his best friend fall out of the window, but the matter was not over yet, the cosmic storm passed through the protective shield and hit them. Zhang Tianming and Susan, who were still chatting, suddenly saw bursts of crimson storm energy attacking them, Zhang Tianming was indifferent, and the system asked him to come up, as if to defend against this cosmic storm. Susan's face became anxious, she quickly blocked Zhang Tianming behind her, and everyone looked at her in surprise. Afterwards, Susan's figure was impacted by the cosmic storm, and her body's DNA was undergoing extraordinary changes. Seeing that the cosmic storm was getting closer and closer to him, Zhang Tianming felt a little bad, and the system's defense did not seem to appear. Hey, hey, the system, you tricked me into tricking me. In the scour of the cosmic storm, Zhang Tianming was the only one who remained awake, because he had an extraordinary physique and was able to withstand the pressure that ordinary people could not bear. His princess hugged Susan, and gently placed her on the seat of the spaceship. As for the others, they had to be dragged, and he would not hug those elders. Zhang Tianming brought everyone back to Earth, but he didn't bring Victor, even if he didn't, the people in his company would have people bring Victor down. Everyone came to the hospital under Victor's company, where they were being isolated, and they were also undergoing physical examinations here. So, have you touched enough? Zhang Tianming was wearing a hospital gown, surrounded by a group of beautiful female nurses, saying that he needed to check his body, and they kept touching his body. Definitely only touch the upper body. Hey, Zhang. Johnny came to Zhang Tianming's ward and was about to say hello, but when he saw Zhang Tianming, enjoying, among the nurses, he immediately joked. 557, Yan Fu is not shallow, I will definitely tell my sister. To be honest, he was envious, as a master of love, he felt that Zhang Tianming was awesome. Stop talking nonsense, Johnny, what's the matter with your sister? Speaking of Susan, Zhang Tianming pushed away the nurses who had been touching his chest and abdominal muscles. Okay, okay, I'm going to visit the doctor yes, ladies. Zhang Tianming didn't give them a chance, and slipped out of the ward as slippery as a loach. Johnny even expressed surprise at Zhang Tianming's speed of slipping away. You can touch me. Johnny looked at the nurses with a smile and lifted his shirt, but the nurses ignored him and left. Johnny's smile froze for an instant, and then he shrugged, if you don't touch it, just touch it. I'm not good enough for you to touch it. Thinking about it, Johnny decided to go and see Ben. Zhang Tianming, who planned to visit Susan, came to Susan's ward and saw her sitting on the hospital bed looking out the window. It seems that your spirit is not bad. Zhang Tianming pulled a stool and sat beside the hospital bed. He smiled and said to Susan. Yes, I heard that you brought us back, thank you very much. Susan smiled sweetly. No need to thank you for small things. Zhang Tianming picked up the apples in the fruit plate, peeled the apples, and handed them to Susan after peeling. Susan was also polite, ready to take the apple peeled by Zhang Tianming and eat it, but a sudden change happened, Susan's finger and Zhang Tianming's fingertips suddenly came into close contact, and a mysterious reaction occurred. Ah! Susan suddenly cried out, and quickly withdrew her hand. The feeling just now was like an electric shock. It felt weird, which caused her heartbeat to speed up and her face to turn red. What's the matter? Zhang Tianming looked at Susan strangely and asked, Obviously Susan's reaction was outrageous, but he sat there like a normal person. No, it's nothing. Susan's face was flushed, and she was trying to calm her heartbeat. The feeling just now stimulated his senses, and there was an inexplicable, pleasure. Now Zhang Tianming was confused, he stared blankly at his hands, could it be that he, like Susan and the others, was awakening some kind of super ability? Could it be the rumored, that kind of hand? Okay, E.H. Mr. Zhang, why is there a hospital gown floating there? A doctor walked into the ward, but when he saw the situation in the ward, he couldn't help asking Zhang Tianming with wide eyes. In his eyes, there was no other person in the ward except Zhang Tianming, and there was still floating on the bed. Wearing a hospital gown. What? Zhang Tianming glanced at Susan and then at the doctor, and soon thought of something, he said to Susan, Susan, look at yourself. After hearing Zhang Tianming's words, Susan, who had just calmed down, 
lowered her head to look at her hands, only to see that she couldn't see anything except her clothes. What happened? After seeing Susan's reaction, Zhang Tianming knew what was going on, that's right, he saw that Susan was invisible in the eyes of others and even herself, but she was normal in his eyes. You go out first, Zhang Tianming said to the doctor, and the doctor nodded and left the ward. Susan, calm down. Okay. Okay. Susan took a deep breath to adjust her emotions, and slowly Susan's whole body began to return to normal, although Zhang Tianming looked the same. In the early stage, Susan's invisible ability will be affected by emotions, and in the later stage, she should be able to control it freely. What's going on? After Susan calmed down completely, she asked Zhang Tianming as if intentionally or unintentionally taking Zhang Tianming as the backbone. I think it should be related to the cosmic storm, which modifies your DNA. That's it. Then Susan looked at Zhang Tianming, concern appeared in her eyes, what about you? Are you uncomfortable? It's not uncomfortable, I just feel like I haven't changed much. These problems can only be explored by himself, and he should not ask the system. But the series of reactions when I touched Susan just now, could it be my new awakening ability? If you find something uncomfortable, you must check it out. Susan reminded. Zhang Tianming felt a little helpless, feeling that he was treated as a younger brother by Susan, who took care of him like an elder, even though Susan was only a few years older than him. Congratulations to the host for completing the task and rewarding flight ability, speed of sound. Note. The cosmic storm did not give the host a special super ability, but the host's soul is connected to Susan Stone's soul. Congratulations to the host. Congratulations, Mahler Gobi, Zhang Tianming couldn't help but swear, at least flight ability allows him to deal with many enemies, this soul connection is useful. Susan and Zhang Tianming came to the restaurant, ready to have dinner here, the two were talking and laughing, they looked like a couple in the eyes of others. To be honest, has anyone ever told you that you are very attractive? Susan asked looking at Zhang Tianming's exquisite face. From the very beginning, she had this feeling that Zhang Tianming was the most handsome man she had ever seen, with an inexplicable aura that attracted her, which surprised her a little. Definitely said that, and more than one. Definitely someone has said it, but you are the first one to be so direct. Maybe it's because of Tony's influence that now Zhang Ming is a little talkative towards women. He he he, should I feel honored. Susan didn't feel disrespectful to Zhang Tianming's, 553, rhetoric, on the contrary she found it very interesting. Hey, guys. Seeing Johnny walking into the restaurant shirtless, covered only by a down jacket, he was very excited at the moment, you can't imagine what happened just now. So there is a red light district near here. Zhang Tianming joked with a smile. Johnny was slightly taken aback by Zhang Tianming's joke, then looked at his lower body, and quickly explained, I can explain this. Boom. Suddenly they heard a loud noise. Zhang Tianming and others came to Ben's room when they heard the sound, and saw a big hole in the wall, which was apparently knocked out, and Reed stood there in a daze. What's going on? Where's Ben? Susan looked around, then asked Reed. He came home. It was already the next morning. They found Ben early, without the incident on the bridge and the plot, and then planned to test the super ability on the body and create a device to transform them back. After receiving the reward, Zhang Tianming no longer intends to stay any longer. After exchanging contact information with Susan, he left under Susan's slightly reluctant eyes. Seeing Zhang Tianming getting farther and farther away on the mobile Pegasus, Susan began to feel a little empty in her heart, which also had the influence of soul connection. Ben, who had turned into a stone man, patted his best friend's shoulder lightly to show comfort. Reed sighed and knew that he had no chance, so he went upstairs with Ben. Johnny smiled squintingly, touched Susan's arm with his elbow, and said in a strange tone, Sister, I don't really mind if you catch up immediately, brother, I have already prepared for the wedding hall. Johnny, you are looking for a beating. Susan's face turned red suddenly, she gave Johnny a hard look, and raised her palm as if to hit him. Johnny's face changed, and he ran away quickly. Alas. Susan looked deeply at the direction where Zhang Tianming was leaving, and an idea began to emerge in her heart. And Zhang Tianming, who was concerned, drove the mobile Pegasus on the road, and kept missing several cars, which was already speeding. 
Ding Lingaling, the phone in Zhang Tianming's pocket rang, and he picked it up to see that it was Tony calling. Hey, Tony, why do you have time to call me? Old Zhang, what do you mean by that? You can go to space as an astronaut or I can help you. Why can't I call you? Tony's tone was quite dissatisfied, but Zhang Tianming knew he was faking it. Zhang Tianming was a little speechless. Okay, what's the matter? Honestly, I need your help. According to Tony, the plot of Iron Man 2 started more than five months in advance, and Black Widow found Tony and was attacked by Anton Venki in a car race. During Zhang Tianming's absence, Rhodes and Tony had a fight, and Rhodes finally took Mark II away. Tony and Ethan have been looking for alternative elements to replace Palladium, but they have not found it. Because Zhang Tianming is in isolation, Tony waited until today to call him. Zero. I'll be right there. Zhang Tianming didn't intend to wait for the black stewed egg to remind Tony, and directly helped Tony create new elements. What's going on? Zhang Tianming came to Tony's laboratory and saw Tony and Ethan sitting in front of the computer, thinking. Old Zhang, you are here. Since you went into space, that is, two days ago, I discovered that my poisoning level has reached 50%. As early as a month ago, I had fallen into palladium poisoning. 11. Guys, I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. Tony apologized to his two sincere friends. He thought he could find an element replacement in a short time, but he never found it. Ethan and Zhang Tianming glanced at each other, they both knew that Tony had his own arrogance, but obviously he didn't want his friends to worry, let alone Little Pepper, so he sent out 10 people to bear the burden. Okay, this is not like you, now we have to work overtime. Zhang Tianming's words broke through the strange atmosphere, and he walked to the projection table. J-A-R-V-I-S, project the 1974 Stark Expo model, remember to have it all. Okay, Mr. Zhang is 3.9. This time it was Tony and Ethan's turn to look at each other, they were confused about Zhang Tianming's approach, what was the relationship between the new elements and the Stark Expo model. Show the top view of the model. Zhang Tianming turned his head and waved to Tony and Ethan. What are you doing stupidly, come here quickly. See what this looks like. Zhang Tianming pointed to the position of the Earth in the projection model. It looks like. Ethan was a little uncertain. Like an atomic nucleus. Tony at the moment's eyes widened, he didn't expect that the model of the Stark Expo could hide such a mystery. You guessed right Tony, this may be the last legacy your father left you. Tony held the projection ball of the new element in his hand, and smiled from the bottom of his heart. I didn't expect to be able to educate me after being dead for nearly 20 years. Thinking about it this way, his father, who didn't care much about him, was still a little bit kind. Tony's father is also a genius, if not limited by the times, perhaps his achievements would be even greater. Thank you too, old Zhang. Tony's tone was very sincere. If Zhang Tianming hadn't discovered the mystery, he might have been poisoned to death. In fact, even if there is no Zhang Tianming, the head of the Internal Trader Bureau will remind Tony, but it doesn't matter, at least Tony will suffer less. Speaking of which, how did you discover this? Ethan asked curiously, hadn't he been in space all the time? I was bored in space, so I opened the expo video and watched it. After a closer look, I found something wrong with it. Zhang Tianming lied casually, at least it was quite convincing, Tony and Ethan both nodded, agreeing with Zhang Tianming's statement. When they came to their senses, Zhang Tianming had already walked to the door, and Tony asked, where are you going? Aren't you here to help? Zhang Tianming naturally has his own research, 2B and A2 are waiting to be built by himself, so why not stay here with you two old men? The rest will not trouble you, I should go back and report to Gwen and the others. After Zhang Tianming finished speaking, he turned and left, and when he turned around, he saw Black Widow Natasha Romanoff walking in. But it's none of his business anymore, as a man subconsciously glanced at her up and down and left Stark Industries directly. When they got home, they saw Gwen and Felicia sunbathing on the beach, wearing bikinis. Among them, Gwen, who was most sensitive to perception, immediately sensed that Zhang Tianming was back. She took off her sunglasses and waved to Zhang Tianming. Tianming, come and join us. The two beauties looked at him with smiles. Zhang Tianming couldn't help but laugh. He just started to build it tonight. Now he is naturally spending quality time with his two beautiful girlfriends. 
he has already strengthened the defensive ability around the island. Once a technological instrument enters the island within a thousand miles, it will be destroyed by the electromagnetic pulsar made by Zhang Tianming. Moreover, the means of detection cannot reach here, no matter whether it is in the sky or in the sea, they cannot be detected within a radius of thousands of miles. Once there is an intruder within a thousand miles, they will be pointed at by the weapons made by Zhang Tianming, so for now, this island is absolutely safe. To put it bluntly, only you can appreciate the beauty of the two beauties. At night, after Zhang Tianming had dinner with two beauties, he walked to the basement floor, which is his laboratory. The materials of the system are lying on the table, Zhang Tianming has already checked, those are metals not in this world, nor vibranium and adamantium. After systematic explanation, this metal is a stronger metal than vibranium and adamantium. Master, are you going to start working? In the laboratory, a cold female voice sounded. It was Zhang Tianming who created an artificial intelligence called Bai Meng before going to space. Bai Meng, call supper on time at 10 o'clock, and start working all night tonight. Zhang Tianming lifted the mysterious metal easily, and ordered Bai Meng. Okay, master. Zhang Tianming took off his jacket, put on a vest to reveal his strong arms, put on his favorite sunglasses, and smiled slightly. Start work. Make a wife. The perfect combination of technology and biology makes A2 and 2B have a strong physique, the appearance is exactly the same as ordinary humans, and the touch is also elastic. And through the system, they also inherited Zhang Tianming's steel body, which means that ordinary weapons cannot hurt them, and their strength will also increase as Zhang Tianming becomes stronger. Not only that, but they can travel together with Zhang Tianming hand in hand to the 600th world. Time flies, and two months have passed in a blink of an eye. In the meantime, Iron Man 2's plot has ended, Thor's has yet to begin, and the timeline is currently in between. In Wang's laboratory, Zhang Tianming breathed a sigh of relief, then sat on the stool and looked at his perfect work, which perfectly reproduced the appearance of the original work. The two white-haired beauties were immersed in the culture solution in the cultivation cabin. At the moment they were naked, but Zhang Tianming was also a person who had been there, so he had the right to appreciate it. Backquote, the training progress has reached 100%. Quote, Master, you can release the younger sisters. For Bai Meng, A2 and 2B are also her master's creations, that is, her younger sisters. Zhang Tianming pressed the enter key on the supercomputer, the culture fluid in the cultivation cabin was sucked away, and the doors of the cultivation cabin opened one after another. The two beauties slowly opened their eyes, and then they walked out of the training cabin. They came to Zhang Tianming at the same time, and knelt down on one knee. Master. A2 and 2B said at the same time. Okay. Get up. Zhang Tianming turned around and handed the maid outfits prepared on the table to A2 and 2B. From today on, you are our housemaids. Yes. The two responded with expressionless, what's it, affection. Zhang Tianming knew why they didn't have human emotions, because he didn't equip them, and planned to equip them after getting the mind gem. But there is only one mind gem. Just when Zhang Tianming was worried, the long lost voice from the system rang out after two months. Issuing the task. Repel the destroyer, task reward, mind gem times 21. Note. After completing the task, mind gem will automatically integrate into the bodies of 2B and A2. After hearing the words, Zhang Tianming was overjoyed. As expected of his system, it was really timely. I took back the words I scolded her before. And there are still two mind gems, I didn't expect infinite gems to be free for the system. System. In the living room on the first floor, Two ladies A2 and 2B in black made uniforms stood there straight, like military training. Zhang Tianming stepped forward and poked their cheeks, they were white and smooth, Zhang Tianming couldn't help nodding, very satisfied with his work. Gwen's band practiced today, and Felicia also went to watch. I will be back later. When they come back, you can introduce yourself. I'm going to take a shower. After speaking, Zhang Tianming went upstairs. Because he was too obsessed with experiments, he took a shower every three days on average, and his body smelled of sweat. Yes, Jay. Not long after, Gwen and Felicia returned home. Gwen put down her backpack, and suddenly saw two strange women standing in the living room. Felicia also saw it, and there was a vigilant look in the eyes of the two women. 
Gwen squinted and said, Who are you? Where is Tianming? If we set a precedent, we know that there will be no less troubles in the future. Ladies, welcome home. I am your number. 2B, 2B for short. From now on, we will be the maids at home. Please give us any orders. Jula type a number 2, referred to as A2, hello ladies. After speaking, the two Rifa ladies bowed respectfully to Gwen and Felicia at the same time. Gwen, as the one with the most scientific and technological knowledge among the two women, was the first to notice that something was wrong with A2 and 2B. She said to Felicia, they seem to be robots, lifelike bionic robots. They are all college graduates, and they have heard of bionic robots, but the two in front of them seem to be more real than bionic robots. To be honest, they are almost real people, and they can't be seen as robots, I uh, at all. Felicia couldn't believe it. And so, Gwen and Felicia watched A2 and 2B, who stood there waiting for orders from their wives. Soon, Zhang Tianming went downstairs shirtless, and saw four beauties standing in the living room, staring at each other, asking strangely, what are you doing? Tianming. Gwen and his daughter trotted to Zhang Tianming's side, and shook his arm, who are they? Huh. Didn't you introduce yourself? The master's order has been carried out, but the ladies don't seem to believe our identities. A2 took the lead in respectfully saying. Zhang Tianming had to explain himself. He said to Gwen and Felicia, they are the bionic robots I made, and they will take care of our daily life from now on. After Zhang Tianming's explanation, the two girls, Gwen and Wen, no longer doubted, and came to observe A2 and 2 very curiously. Wow, Tianming, you are so powerful, so real. Felicia's eyes lit up, and there was a look of admiration in her eyes. Yeah, it's amazing. Gwen did the same, she kept poking and touching their skin. Huh. Is this place the same as humans? After finishing speaking, Gwen pinched 2B and nodded involuntarily. It should be said that not only does it feel first class, but it also seems to be much larger than A2. Hmm. 2B couldn't help but yelled suddenly, and her face turned red, and Gwen realized that she had made a disrespectful move. Sorry. Gwen withdrew her hand and apologized. She didn't know that robots also had so-called feelings, so she casually touched them out of curiosity. Don't look at them as expressionless as robots, in fact, they have a tactile feedback system like human nerves, so they have so-called feelings. This is where biotechnology is at its best. Ma'am, you don't need to apologize. 2B still had that expressionless iceberg face, as if everything just now didn't exist. This made Felicia on the side couldn't help asking curiously, Tianming, do they have no human emotions? Or will they always have this personality? I haven't equipped them with a human emotional system at the moment. Now I only have a cold artificial intelligence. There will be more suitable ones in the future. Don't worry. As long as they get the mind gem, they can sublimate their artificial intelligence, have human emotions, have unique personalities, and so on. Gwen and Felicia nodded as if they understood, and then saw a strange point. Tianming, you won't let them carry out your strange orders, will you? Gwen, questioned, Zhang Tianming with her waist in her hand. Felicia showed a joking smile. It's possible, Gwen, maybe he created them because he disliked us. After Felicia said the second half of the sentence, she still put on a pitiful look, and those who didn't know thought she was being bullied. Zhang Tianming couldn't help rolling his eyes, although he also had that strange thought, what are you thinking about? Okay, I'm going on a long trip, so I'll ask you to take care of them. Zhang Tianming turned and left, heading towards the garage. The four girls looked at each other, and finally Gwen was the first to break the silence. Okay, girls, we can go shopping. Zhang Tianming doesn't want to use flight ability in daily life except in battle, so he has to find his tool man Mr. Tony first. Hey, Tony, I want to lend you a plane. On the phone, Zhang Tianming said so to Tony. Unexpectedly, Tony on the phone was a little out of breath, and he said full of resentment, if you ruin my good things next time, I will never end with you. Go and get the plane yourself. After finishing speaking, Xiaojili's comforting voice came faintly from the phone. Only then did he realize that he had disturbed Tony's good business, Zhang Tianming couldn't help laughing at the thought of this. You're still laughing. After yelling, Tony hung up the phone directly. So Zhang Tianming raised his eyebrows before he hung up the phone. 
he wants to learn from Tony's lesson. Before doing such a thing, turn off the phone first. Zhang Tianming came to the private airport of his toolman Tony Stark, found a private plane in the captain at random, and was about to head to New Mexico, and he also pushed the mobile Pegasus onto the plane. It was later learned that Tony allowed Zhang Tianming to enter and leave any place in the Stark industry, including his private airport. A second of silence for poor Tony, I'm sorry to disturb his interest, Zhang Tianming will definitely dare to do it next time. Moldy Country New Mexico. After getting off the plane, Zhang Tianming rode his beloved small motorcycle to Juchao City, which is near the place where Miao Miao Hammer fell in the plot. This place is not so much a city as a small town, surrounded by buildings with only two floors at the highest tall buildings. My god, I'm going to be late. Jane Foster was trotting on the sidewalk, looking extremely anxious. Soon Dr. Eric will come to Old Bridge to assist her in studying astronomy, and she has to go there. Excuse me, excuse me, Jane bypassed countless passers-by until she came to a corner. Puff. Wow. Jane was so impatient that she bumped into a man, but the man didn't move at all, instead she fell straight backwards. But the man hugged Jane's waist to keep her from falling, and only when Jane came back to her senses did she see his face clearly. That man was Zhang Tianming. How are you? I, I'm fine. Hearing Zhang Tianming's question, she realized that she was still in his arms, and she blushed and hurriedly left Zhang Tianming's arms. Thank you, thank you. Jane at the moment was a little too nervous, causing her to stutter. It's okay, just don't run too fast next time. Zhang Tianming said with a smile, and he also recognized the other party's identity. Is there something urgent? Zhang Tianming asked. Oh, I almost forgot. Jane exclaimed, if Zhang Tianming hadn't reminded her, she would have forgotten to meet Dr. Eric. I'll take you there. Really. Thank you so much. Jane was overjoyed and thanked happily. Then Jane got on Zhang Tianming's mobile Pegasus, put on the helmet that Zhang Tianming took out from nowhere, at the city boundary of Juchao City in front. Soon they spotted Dr. Eric, Jane took off her helmet, and trotted forward to shake Eric's hand. Dr. Eric, hello. Hello, Jane. Eric saw Zhang Tianming behind Jane, and said jokingly, you were the first one to bring my boyfriend to pick me up. No, no, he's not. Jane waved her hands in a panic, trying to explain but couldn't speak clearly because of nervousness. In the end, the corpse ended with a blushing face and lowered head. Seeing this, Zhang Tianming knew he had to come forward, he also took off his helmet and greeted Eric. Hello, Dr. Eric. Zero. After all, he is an important person who uses Tesseract, the space gem, to open the space door and let the Chidori army enter the Earth. Unexpectedly, Eric was a little surprised when he saw Zhang Tianming's true face, Mr. Zhang. It's a pleasure to meet you. Eric enthusiastically stepped forward and shook hands with Zhang Tianming, even Zhang Tianming was a little surprised, you know me. Definitely, at Tony Stark's party, I don't think there are many people who don't know you. After all, you were the focus of the audience as soon as you appeared, and you were taken by Tony to meet people everywhere. It turned out to be because of Tony. This time, I wrote it down in a small notebook first. By the way, Tony's party really has everyone, why didn't I see it before? What's the situation? Jane was at a loss, she didn't even understand what the situation was. Jane, I didn't expect you to know Mr. Zhang. Not only did he go to space with Dr. Richards, but he was also recognized by Tony Stark. The future is limitless. Eric was like an old matchmaker, talking about the advantages of Zhang Tianming in front of Jane. Eric also ignored the dumbfounded Jane, and turned to look at Zhang Tianming, is Mr. Zhang also here to help Jane do research? Actually, I just happened to pass by here, and I just met Jane by chance, and I brought him to meet you by the way. Jane and Eric also nodded, convinced by Zhang Tianming's statement. In the end, Zhang Tianming temporarily joined Jane's research team under Eric's recommendation, and Jane readily accepted. Jane's casting, I personally think it's better than Black Widow's casting, in my personal opinion, predict. So where did you pick up such a decent man, tell me. I want to pick up one too. Daisy, the girl with glasses, asked Jane beside her. Wearing a vest, showing his chest muscles and arms, the handsome Zhang Tianming is simply a beauty killer. What are you talking about? What are you picking up? 
He is Zhang Tianming who lives in New York, he is a serious Chong Chinese. Jane packed her things, and kept looking at Zhang Tianming who was helping Eric move things along the way. Oh, Jane looked into Daisy's eyes, she drew a long voice meaningfully, and then whispered in Jane's ear, then what's the matter with your eyes? Pregnant 23. What? I don't understand what you mean. It's really inexplicable. Jane was like a little girl who was caught stealing candy, her eyes kept avoiding, her tone was tense and she stammered slightly. It's really surprising that a scientist who is only interested in celestial natural phenomena suddenly becomes interested in a man. Daisy patted Jane on the shoulder as if she had come here, love is here. Jane shook her shoulders angrily, shook Daisy's hand down, and said with a little shame, what do you mean by that? I'm also a woman, okay. Isn't it normal to be interested in the opposite romance? The interaction between the two ladies can be seen from the eyes of the two men, one old and one young. Eric Invisible stood in the united front with Daisy. He said to Zhang Wuming who was still moving things. Zhang, what do you think of Jane? Zhang Tianming, who finished moving the last box, heard Eric's inquiry, looked back at him, and then glanced at Jane who was still staring at Daisy. It's good, it's beautiful, it's cute. It was a perfunctory word, but in Eric's eyes, it meant something. Eric turned his head and gave Daisy a look and Daisy nodded back to him secretly, indicating that she received it. She put her hand on Jane's shoulder. What do you think of Zhang Tianming? Very good, very handsome, very on time. After receiving Jane's answer, Daisy sent Eric a signal that they only understood, and Eric nodded knowingly. He took Zhang Tianming's shoulder. Hey Zhang, I'm a little thirsty, can you help me go to the coffee shop to buy a cup of coffee? At the same time, Daisy also said to Jane, Jane, I suddenly want to drink juice, can you help me buy a glass? Zhang Tianming naturally heard and saw the small movements between them, and immediately raised his hand, don't bother, I'll just go. Daisy's mind turned quickly, and she immediately said, how can it be done, only Jane knows where it is and how to go. Then Jane will go. Daisy's eyes widened, she put her hands on her hips, and immediately refuted Zhang Tianming's words. How can that be done? How can a gentleman let a lady go out alone? What if she is in danger? Zhang Tianming couldn't help but roll his eyes, this doesn't work and that doesn't work, boys are also very dangerous outside, well, why don't you go by yourself? Okay, okay, I'll go with Zhang. Jane waved her hands helplessly, stopped them, walked over and took Zhang Tianming's arm and walked out. Let's go, let's go. After Zhang Tianming and Jane left, Daisy and Eric smiled happily and gave each other a thumbs up. Nice job, Eric. And you too, Daisy. I'm sorry, Eric and Daisy, it's a little too much. As their friend, Jane immediately apologized and felt sorry for disturbing Zhang Tianming. It's nothing, I'll just take it as a joke. Zhang Daming smiled and said he didn't care. I've been single for a long time, and they tried their best to advise me. To be honest, I also feel bored. Jane said with a headache expression. She has been studying and researching since she was a child, and she has no time to talk about the so-called love. She is not in a hurry, but her friends Daisy and Eric are in a hurry. Now a handsome boy with rich gold and good temperament finally came, let them try their best to blend them. How can such a beautiful girl be liked by no one? I don't believe it when I tell it. Zhang Tianming said with a smile. He he he, thank you for your compliment. They chatted and came to the beverage shop, and the salute sounded in their ears as soon as they entered the shop. Crack. Fireworks of various colors were sprinkled on the heads of the two. Ah. Shit. Jane was startled by the sudden voice, shrank into Zhang Tianming's arms, and accidentally uttered a foul language. Welcome two guests, you are the hundredth couple who came to our store, two drinks and 2.9 items will be free for you. The fat white man said to Zhang Tianming and Jane at the counter with a smile. Zhang Tianming raised his eyebrows. He thought that only his country had this kind of activity. Do rich countries and capitalist countries also have such activities? Jane recovered from the fright, and found herself in Zhang Tianming's arms, and walked out quietly. Three cups of coffee, one cup of juice, make them for me right now. At the moments Jane was like a tigress, she yelled at the clerk, and turned her head to stare at the two clerks who fired the salute glance. The clerk was terrified, and made drinks directly according to Jane's request, and he didn't dare to make a fuss. 
Finally, Jane and Zhang Tianming left the drink shop with a smile on her face, as if the tantrum just now did not exist. Zhang, what happened in the drink shop just now? Just now. Did something happen just now? Isn't it just a normal order? Zhang Tianming chose to play dumb, as if he had selective amnesia about what happened just now. Jane nodded with a satisfied smile. She is very satisfied with Zhang Tianming's spirit of being a gentleman who knows the current affairs. After the two of them returned to the laboratory, Eric and Daisy were watching them walk in curiously, as if they wanted to find out what happened to them. Eric, why didn't I see that their relationship has warmed up? Daisy stared at Jane and Zhang Tianming, and asked Eric 08K beside her. Don't say it's you, even I can't see it. Eric is a person who has been there, but no matter how he sees them, they seem to come back from shopping normally. Jane, who had just chatted with Zhang Tianming, had a smile on her face, but disappeared immediately when she saw Eric and Daisy. Your coffee, your juice. After Jane handed them their respective drinks with a blank face, she sat in front of her computer and typed on the keyboard. Did something happen just now? Eric asked Daisy, a bit slow in this regard. Daisy is also a woman, and with a woman's intuition, she can guess Jane's question. Actually, I think her attitude is for us to see. Hey hey, Zhang. Daisy ran to Zhang Tianming again, and asked him curiously, did anything interesting happen to you on the way? Hearing this, Zhang Tianming looked at Jane subconsciously, but the other party gave him a look that would be unlucky if you dare to say it, and continued to fiddle with her computer. Honestly, no. Huh. There is a problem. Daisy obviously didn't believe what Zhang Tianming said, but she didn't continue to ask, but continued to observe secretly and seemed to want to guard the tricks between the two. When night came, the four of them sat in the minivan, waiting for the appearance of a special astronomical phenomenon, while Zhang Tianming waited for the unlucky one to fall. There was still some time before the estimated time, so Jane invited Zhang Tianming out for a walk, and before Zhang Tianming agreed, Eric and Daisy agreed for him. Finally, under Jane's expectant eyes, he agreed. Jane, why do you want to become an astrophysicist? In the original work, Jane is a nurse, but in the movie she is an astrophysicist. Zhang Maming asked out of boredom and curiosity. Hearing this, Jane looked up at the starry sky, then took a deep breath, and said. Dot dot dot. Well, my mother passed away when I was young, and I was brought up by my father, who has always been dedicated to being a qualified father. Quote. In fact, in my heart, he is already a qualified father. Unfortunately, my father died of a heart attack. I wanted to be a nurse, but since my father took me to the planetarium once, I just changed my goal. Is it difficult to be an astrophysicist? Zhang Tianming's inquiry seemed to turn on a switch. Jane told her past, and finally smiled self-deprecatingly. Finally, Jane looked at Zhang Tianming and said suddenly, Can I hug you? Zhang Tianming turned his head to look at her, and after some hesitation, he nodded in agreement under her expectant eyes, and Jane stepped forward and hugged Zhang Tianming. Zhang Tianming patted Jane on the back as comfort. In order to make Jane feel better, Zhang Tianming planned to tell him about his life experience. In fact, my experience is similar to yours. When I was six years old, my parents had already left, and I lived alone at home for more than ten years. If it weren't for my friends, I might really be a different person. After finishing speaking, Jane hugged Zhang Tianming even harder, and she didn't know what was going on in her heart, so the two hugged each other wordlessly. And on the other side Daisy and Eric in the minivan. It's developing so fast. Daisy said with a bit of surprise as she looked at the two hugging figures with a telescope. How's it going? Eric anxiously asked 547 from the sidelines, the fire of gossip already ignited in his heart. It's developing very quickly. They're already hugging each other, just one kiss away. Daisy still didn't take down the binoculars, and kept observing the movements of the two of them. So fast, who took the initiative? Well, I see that Jane took the initiative. Hearing this, Eric was a little surprised. He introduced men to Jane, but she rejected them decisively. Why is this girl still taking the initiative now? Oh oh oh. The bodies overlap. In Daisy's eyes, the figures of the two overlapped, but they just turned around slightly. Really? Show me. Eric yelled, trying to grab the telescope from Daisy. What are you grabbing? Let me see again. 
Suddenly Daisy saw Jane holding Zhang Tianming's hand and running towards them. It turned out that they discovered a strange aurora in the sky, and only Zhang Tianming knew that the second idiot Thor was coming. Jane took Zhang Tianming's hand and ran to the minivan, Zhang Tianming took the driver's seat, and Jane sat in the co-pilot. My god. Except for Zhang Tianming, everyone was dumbfounded at the strange aurora that appeared in the sky. Tianming, drive and drive. Jane said quickly, holding the camera for shooting in her hand. No one noticed the name change of this detail, they were all attracted by the strange aurora in the sky. Boom. Something like a tornado appeared in their field of vision, making huge amounts of noise. Oh my god, I don't want to die for six credits. Daisy prayed secretly behind seeing this, she was not the main driver, and it would be dangerous to interfere with the driver, she could only do this. Boom. There was another huge amount of sound from inside the tornado, and Zhang Tianming, who had amazing eyesight, saw a figure falling straight down. Ah. I can't help it. Stop. Daisy yelled from behind, and then began to pull the steering wheel. Hey hey hey. Picking up the driver is a very dangerous thing. Zhang Tianming shouted, I really don't know what this crazy fool is thinking. Daisy, don't touch him. Jane also began to join the battlefield, she also began to pull Daisy, Daisy pulled Zhang Tianming, and the three of them fought together. Only Eric shivered behind him. Bang. Suddenly, the minivan made a noise as if it had hit something. Daisy and Jane's movements stopped, and Zhang Tianming also stepped on the brakes and stopped. No way. Everyone hurriedly got out of the car, only Zhang Tianming got out of the car slowly, because he knew who he hit. A tall golden-haired man was lying on the ground and let out a small mournful roar. He was hit by a car and survived. The third person in Jane thought it was miraculous. Ah. The golden retriever Thor stood up weakly, like a big man who was drunk. Hammer. Where is my hammer? Thor looked around a little unsteadily, trying to find his hammer. He seems to be drunk. Daisy looked at Thor as if looking at a fool. Jane, we have to take him to the hospital. Eric said to Jane, but Jane was busy documenting the scene. He's fine, look at him. Heimdall, I know you can hear me, turn on Bifrost. Thor yelled towards the sky, this behavior is like a neurosis in the eyes of ordinary people. Quote dot dot dot. Okay, you take him to the hospital, and Tianming and I stay here. Only then did Jane realize how stupid the stranger in front of her was. You, what kingdom is this? Alfheim, or Nornheim. Thor turned around and pointed at Daisy and asked, with a bad attitude. Daisy was terrified, and hurriedly took out a small stun gun for self-defense from her pocket, this is New Mexico. Thor was amused, and his tone was a little disdainful. How dare you threaten me with such a small weapon, even if I stand here and be attacked by you, you, you. In the next second, Daisy shot without any hesitation, and Thor was knocked down by Daisy before he finished speaking. The other three people, including Zhang Tianming, all looked at Daisy in unison, why is she so wild? What's wrong, he scared me. Eric carried Thor, who was knocked down by the stun gun, into the car. It was a bit difficult for him to lift Thor at some age, so he couldn't help complaining. Next time you stun someone, make sure he's in the car, okay. The youngest, Zhang Tianming, didn't come to help either, and was busy helping Jane take notes. Zhang Tianming came to the door of Thor's ward and observed one of the Marvel movie comedians. Sure enough, Thor woke up and beat the medical staff. Dare to lay hands on the son of Odin. Quote, even the weakened Thor's physical fitness is not comparable to that of ordinary people. Back quote, you can't beat the great thunder. In the end, he was pinned against the door by several big men, and Zhang Tianming stared at him from outside the door. In the end, he was knocked down by the anesthetic, rubbing his face against the door weakly. Zhang Tianming smiled slightly. As expected of being one of the comedians in the Marvel movies, the number of times he was deflated was ridiculous. Afterwards, Zhang Tianming, Jian and others left the hospital, preparing to rest until the next day. But there is a problem, that is, Zhang Tianming has not solved the housing problem. Eric and Daisy looked at each other secretly, and they both understood each other's thoughts. Eric took the lead and said, Actually, the rooms around here are fully booked, and it was hard for me to book a room with a lot of money. Yes, yes, me too, I made a reservation earlier than Eric. Daisy then said. 
Oh, I still have something to do, see you tomorrow. Daisy pointed to her watch, and then left the research room, Eric said the same thing and left. Only Zhang Tianming and Jane are left in the research room. Jane glanced at Zhang Tianming quietly, lifted the hair around her ear and put it behind her ear, her heartbeat began to speed up. If you don't mind, I also have a bed in the RV, which is actually pretty big. Zhang Tianming can only do this, he can't eat dust with Pegasus outside. Zhang Tianming and Jane sat on the chairs and looked at the starry sky by the campfire. Out of boredom, Zhang Tianming took out a new small notebook and drew on it. Oa Star is located in the very center of the universe, where a group of little blue people and a team that maintains the peace of the universe live, they are called the Green Lantern Corps. Zhang Tianming talked to Jane as if making up a story, at least in Jane's eyes, what he said was making up a story, but she thought it was very interesting. Is this a real planet? No, it's fake. Definitely is fake, because Hua Xing is not in Marvel, but in DC. He he he, it's really interesting, where did you know these stories, why haven't I heard of them? Jane looked at Zhang Tianming drawing on the small notebook, she smiled and asked curiously. Jane definitely has never heard of it, not to mention Jane in the Marvel world, even the Earthlings in the 600th world have never heard of the name of the Green Lantern Corps. Because I made these up temporarily, do you still want to listen? Definitely. In the distant universe, there is a planet named Krypton-133, where there are technologically advanced but ignorant creatures called Kryptonians. Their physique. Under Zhang Tianming's fairy tale storytelling, Jane slowly closed her eyes and fell asleep. Zhang Tianming slowly put the small quilt over her body, and tonight passed so ordinarily. Early the next morning, Zhang Tianming came to the place where the Miao Miao hammer landed early, and a huge amounts of crater had already been smashed out, and a hammer was lying in the very center of the crater. It's really interesting, and I don't know if I can lift it. Zhang Tianming stretched out his hand to the Thor hammer with the mentality of giving it a try. In the next second, a magical scene happened. The Thor hammer was held by Zhang Tianming in his hand like an ordinary hammer, Zhang Tianming seemed to have seen a ghost, and he even wondered if it was the real Thor hammer. Zhang Tianming threw the hammer into the sky again, and only heard a loud noise. After the sand and dust cleared, the Thor hammer made a small pothole, which proved that the hammer was a real Thor hammer. I was so inexplicably recognized by Miao Hammer. Try other functions. Zhang Tianming raised Mjolnir again, the sky was sunny just now, but now it became cloudy, and thunder and lightning appeared in the blink of an eye. Boom. Boom. Zhang Tianming raised Mjolnir and threw it on the ground, Leiden obeyed his order, and a domineering thunderbolt struck the ground not far away. It's really good. Zhang Tianming is thinking about whether to take it back as his little toy, but he will definitely be approached by Odin. Anyway, he will have more toys in the future, so he won't snatch the golden retriever. At the same time, Bifrost's Asgardian Heimdall saw Zhang Tianming seen just now. A human actually raised Mjolnir and even triggered the power of thunder, Heimdall frowned, feeling that something was wrong, he turned and left, and went to the palace of God King Odin. Great King, an incident happened in Midgard just now. Mjolnir was lifted up by a human, and he skillfully triggered the power of thunder. Heimdall knelt in front of Odin, respectfully talking about the problem he found. Odin nodded knowing that he was not surprised that Mjolnir was held up by anyone but his son Thor. However, triggering the power of thunder means that he has a certain understanding of Mjolnir. Odin stroked his beard and thought about the problem. It seems that the world has become interesting and complicated AIAF, and Thor must grow up quickly so that he can inherit my throne. How is Thor now? Odin looked at Heimdall, and asked him. Hearing this, Heimdall hesitated for a while, and finally told Thor's situation, he was stunned by an electric shock first, and then he was injected with a mysterious liquid by humans and fell into a deep sleep. Now he is still sleeping in bed. If you want to ask why the hesitation, because it is too embarrassing, the famous son of Odin, Thor, was beaten to the ground one after another by human beings, and I feel ashamed of Asgard when I say it. He he he, kid, go back and continue guarding the Nine Realms, tell me if there is any change. Yes, king. After Heimdall stepped back, Odin looked somewhere in his palace. Even Heimdall didn't find that you entered Asgard, who is your excellency? Odin asked as if facing the air. 
In the next second, a small figure walked out from behind the pillar. It was a cat, a cat belonging to the earth. If Zhang Tianming were here, he might recognize it, it was the black cat he was closest to in Gotham. What? Odin suspected that he had misread it, how could it be a cat? You can find me because I came here to warn you, Odin. The black cat actually spoke out, it was a cold female voice. Who the hell are you? The moment Odin asked, his body felt an unprecedented sense of weakness, and he slumped on his main seat powerlessly. He knew that all of this was done by the mysterious cat in front of him. As Odin, the god king of Asgard, he had no resistance at all. Now here are only the rules of what I say and what you listen to. The man who raised Mjolnir is mine, you can't touch him including his important people, you can bring him a little fun, but if you want to threaten him or stab him in the back. Trust me, you don't want that kind of outcome. As soon as the words fell, Odin's eyes burst into a strong red light. He saw many things, the destruction of Asgard, the death of his two sons, and the death of his own wife. Everything ceased to exist, as if the prophesied Ragnarok had arrived ahead of schedule. When the illusion ended, Odin found that the black cat was no longer there. He had never felt such a strong sense of fear, which hit his soul directly. At least, not the worst outcome. Odin said with lingering fear, at the moment his back was covered with cold sweat, suddenly he felt Loki entered his vault. This child is really. When Zhang Tianming returned to the research room, he happened to see Jane and the three of them getting into the minivan again, presumably they were going to find the unlucky Thor. Tianming, it just so happens that we have a new discovery, get in the car. Jane waved to Zhang Tianming from the driver's seat. After Zhang Tianming sat in the co-pilot's seat. When they came to the county hospital and found that Thor had escaped under, strict, guard, they could only decide to drive to search the whole of New Mexico. Just after Jane started the car and reversed the car, Zhang Tianming knew that some unlucky guy was about to suffer, and sure enough, the car ran into Thor who was wearing a hospital suit before he backed up far. Bang. Thor, who was knocked down twice by humans, was then gloriously to the ground by humans driving. You guys have a tacit understanding. You can bump into the same person with your car. I wonder if he has a grudge against you. Daisy couldn't help complaining. Yesterday Zhang Tianming bumped into one, and today Jane bumped into it once. This time it was Zhang Tianming's turn, and he carried the fainted Thor into the car, after which they brought the unlucky guy to the snack bar. Thor kept eating the cakes on the plate as if he hadn't eaten for several days, Zhang Tianming couldn't help asking, do you have another name called Shu Zhang? It's not Zhang Tianming's fault, it's mainly because Thor looks too much like a movie star in his previous life. Who is that? My name is Thor Odinson, and I am of orthodox royal blood. Where did he come from in the feudal monarchy society? Daisy was the one who complained among them, and no one would keep saying that he was of royal blood, except the country. He is the owner of Meow Meow Hammer, the golden retriever Lion King Shumojiang. What did you call me? Thor finished drinking the drink in his hand, shouted to refill, was about to fall to the ground, but was stopped by Zhang Tianming. We don't have the custom of throwing cups here. Thor had to put the cup away, and the next second he heard the fat man sitting at the counter talking about Mjolnir. Thor stepped forward to inquire about the location, and left the snack bar. Where is he going? Jane asked. Look for his hammer. Zhang Tianming continued to the three of them. Go back first, and I'll let you know as soon as I make progress. Jane and the three had no choice but to nod, and then Zhang Tianming caught up with Thor who was still confirming his direction, little golden retriever. Please Zhang, don't call me that. I have a name. Say it after me, Thor. Thor turned around and said with a black face, and said his name to Yang Tianming. Okay, little golden retriever, no problem, little golden retriever. Grass. Thor shook his head as if giving up, no longer intending to pay attention to Jiang Tianming, but continued to look for means of transportation, looking for his horse. Immediately Thor saw a pet store, he walked straight in, and said directly in front of the clerk, I need a horse. The clerk seemed to have heard the most outrageous thing he had ever heard in his life, that he was actually looking for a horse in a pet store. Ah, uh, we only have cats, dogs and rabbits here. It doesn't matter, as long as there is someone who can ride. Thor said it didn't matter, and even felt that he was very understanding. 
The clerk smiled awkwardly, his hand had already started to touch the phone at the side, and he planned to call the police to catch the neuropathy in front of him. At this time, Zhang Tianming stood up, took Thor's hand with one hand, pinned Thor's neck with the other, and took him rudely outside the door. You forgot to take the medicine, you, come out to me. Sorry to bother you, this guy just escaped from the mental hospital, I'll take him back right away. Thor was surprised to find that he couldn't escape from Zhang Tianming's control, the opponent's strength was astonishing, even comparable to him without weakness. Let go of me. He didn't break free until Zhang Daiming took the initiative to let go of him. What are you doing? Are you stupid? Go to the pet store and ask for a horse, why don't you go to the public bath and ask for a massage service? What? What's the matter? I have my own BMW in Asgard, I don't know that I don't have it here. Thor was about to get mad, but when he thought that the opponent's strength was far above him, he wisely gave up. I can take you to get your Mjolnir. Really? Thor was overjoyed, it seems that he is quite reasonable. With Zhang Tianming's thought, the mobile Pegasus automatically came to Zhang Tianming's side and stopped. This is my, BMW. Zhang Tianming pointed to the mobile Pegasus and said. It's great. After speaking, Thor stepped forward to ride the Pegasus, but in the next second, Zhang Tianming unexpectedly stopped him. Wait, wait, who said you can ride his motorcycle? Zhang Tianming stretched out his hand to stop Thor, and he didn't know where he got the confidence, and he didn't know that he wanted to let these two fools ride his own motorcycle. Isn't it for me to ride? Then you are. Thor asked with question marks on his face, watching Zhang Tianming ride the mobile Pegasus. Definitely I rode, and then you followed behind. I am only responsible for leading the way. Whether you can keep up is up to you. Let me see the ability of the son of Odin. Boom. In the next second, Zhang Tianming started to drive the mobile Pegasus. How dare you underestimate the great son of Odin. Thor obviously stepped forward, and ran with both feet, desperately chasing Zhang Tianming's exhaust. One into one. Ah. Thor fell to the ground weakly and moaned, his feet were already numb, and he no longer had the strength to run. Tisk tisk tisk, Odin, if he sees his son like this, he will definitely tremble with anger. Zhang Tianming took off his sunglasses and taunted mercilessly. Shut up, if it wasn't you. I wouldn't do this either. Thor spoke intermittently as if he was dying of breath. He also blamed himself, because Zhang Tianming's aggressive method worked easily, and he would not use his full strength to run the distance of more than 30 kilometers. Even the weakened Thor is much stronger than the average human being, 703. It is amazing to run more than 30 kilometers in half an hour without dying. Seeing Thor in such a miserable state, Quan Tianming also smiled contentedly, smiled. You are a demon. You must, have come to torture me. Thor's eyes began to show a trace of fear towards Zhang Tianming. Stand up, your hammer is there. Now it was dark, and Shield also arrived at the scene and blocked it. Wait, I need, to take a break. Thor hasn't caught his breath yet, lying motionless on the ground, breathing fresh air constantly. It's just that Thor, whose physical strength is seriously exhausted, can still beat those shield agents. It seems that he has made some big changes. It seemed that he was on board, just to dampen the spirit of those agents of the internal bureau. Zhang Tianming grabbed the Kabuto insect instrument in his hand, and then pushed horizontally on the belt that suddenly appeared on his waist. Henshin. Henshin, transformation. The mechanical sound sounded, and a white voice suddenly appeared in front of Thor. Thor had never seen such a magical human being, and was stunned. Follow me, have soup to drink. Sir, someone outside wants to see you. The voice of Shield's brother came over the intercom of Phil Coulson, who was observing Mjolnir. Who is the other party? Phil Coulson frowned and asked, did he come to see him specially? Wearing white armor, I think, it's the black spider that hasn't appeared for a long time. When the shield boy said the name of the black spider, Phil Coulson's eyes widened instantly, and he walked out quickly. After Phil Coulson came out of the isolation measures, he also went to Zhang Tianming in the form of a Kabuto mask. Mr. Black Spider, I have known you for a long time. Phil Coulson showed his trademark professional smile again, and he said to Zhang Tianming, I don't know what's the matter of Mr. Black Spider coming here. 17. I've come to ask you for something. What? 
Phil Coulson had roughly guessed what Zhang Tianming was talking about, but he still asked deliberately. The hammer inside. Sure enough, Phil Coulson's face began to look serious. It is impossible for the people here to beat Zhang Tianming now. If he wants to grab Zhang Tianming, no one can stop him, even if Hawkeye is here, it's useless. But since I'm going to speak kindly here, I mean there's more to talk about. I'm sorry, S.H.I.E.L.D. has already started researching the hammer. I believe we can give you a perfect answer after we finish the research. I think you got something wrong, Phil Coulson agent. Phil Coulson sensed something was wrong, how did the other party know his name, he obviously didn't report his family name, could it be someone he knew? I'm not here to negotiate terms, but to inform you. If you don't want to go back to report with your injuries, then be acquainted. The thing that Phil Coulson is most afraid of is coming. The other party is trying to grab the rhythm. If he doesn't know that the other party is not a bloodthirsty person, otherwise everyone present may be defeated. No, they will definitely die. The opponent is a powerful existence that can fight five super villains in the Osborne building, but they are just some well-trained humans. It's hard to say whether you can take a fist from the opponent. Mr. Black Spider, please don't embarrass us. Phil Coulson's expression was a little ugly, but when he saw Zhang Tianming walking slowly, his expression suddenly changed and he gave way. I can only watch Zhang Tianming and the golden-haired lame beggar behind him, huh? Where is the lame beggar? Phil Coulson couldn't control that much anymore, so he picked up the communicator and called their head, Nick Fury. Sir, the black spider has appeared. Phil Coulson said helplessly. Oh, what is the other party's attitude towards you? As long as the attitude is good enough, he can be considered for inclusion in his list of 2.6 Avengers. The attitude is quite polite, but our research was interrupted by the other party, very direct. Phil Coulson said the whole time, he was also very powerless, the gap in strength was too great. Then let him take it away. Anyway, you can't find anything after studying for a long time, so you might as well make a good impression on it. Nick Fury didn't care, he was an old fox, and instead of researching a hammer that didn't yield anything, he might as well make a good relationship so that his Avengers plan could succeed. And in his eyes, there is nothing on the present earth that S.H.I.E.L.D. cannot take back. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.